Hey guys, thank you for coming back in. Welcome to One Coin Only. It wasn't Facebook, it wasn't YouTube, it wasn't my internet. I think it was actually my broadcast software that had a glitch. So I had to shut down the program and, and, and pull it back up and now everything seems to be working. So, so sorry for that guys. When I have this really big long marathon like stream planned and it gets cut into two bits, it really pisses me off and disappoints me. But main thing is we are back. Thank you so much for joining us again. And, uh, yeah, we're going to continue on with super, uh, part two of Super Mario Brothers 3 Mix. And, uh, yeah, after that, we'll do our bonus game, guys. We're going to go back to the main screen now. A big thank you for joining us again. I do apologize for that. Sometimes when you're live, uh, the unpredictable becomes a predictable, huh? How you going there, Tam? Good to see you. We've got Rez back in the business. All right, let's get out of here, see how we do. Probably just as well that I went offline. I had time to have a bathroom break anyway. With all the water I drink while I'm streaming, I'm surprised I don't pee more. <laughs> How you going, Jeremy? Tom says, what did you miss? Not too much. We're halfway through Mario Brothers 3 Mix right now, my friend. So, uh, yeah, I'm not going to blame Facebook or YouTube for that one. It was something on my end, but at least it wasn't the internet. As you can see, we are back. So it was just a, a technical difficulty of some description. So what's what's my how 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 is Tam going today? Everything all right in your end, girl? Now this this level is actually a real pain in the in the doodle. We got we got to go through all these pipes until we find the right one, right? So we got to hit the switches. Switches get bishes. Okay, that makes no sense. <laughs> Good to see you, Nyani, once again, Kamusta. I hope you're having a great day. It must be breakfast time we're at. You, you get up very early in the morning, Yanni. Oh, there you go, Tom. Well done. It's, it's certainly worth the price, my brother. Alright, so we're going to try this one good. Let's have a look at what's in this middle one, huh? We don't have the marshmallow flavor of Mox Rockstar here. Again, as I said, in Australia, we have different flavors of stuff compared to you. And, uh, yeah, it's a lot different. Oh, we can't go in there? Alright, well, there's nothing in that one. What about this one over here? Maybe we need to go backwards and find a hidden pipe. I'm not sure. Let's have a look. Can't go in that one. What about this one? No, what about this one? Is there a pipe over here? Oh, this looks like a different area, kind of. I don't know if this is going to be anything that can help us. New stream, new mod. Thank you, man. Timmy with another 100 stars. Appreciate you, brother. Thank you so much. We have Vegemite and Lamington Rockstar. Everyone's going to believe you, Josh. <laughs> That's pretty funny, actually. Vegemite and Rockstar. Ugh. That's certainly something different, isn't it? So, Timmy, I'll be right with you, my man. Timmy... This is going out to you. Thank you for the first hundred stars of the new stream. And then there's mod. And then there's mod. And then there's mod. And then there's mod. Much love to you, brother. Really appreciated, sir. 
Man, I like a good lamington though. I remember for school, uh, my grandmother, you, you know those packets of lamington fingers you could get from Woolies or Coles back in the day? My grandmother used to always get those for me. But I'd end up eating them all in one sitting and it'd really piss her off. <laughs> I don't know where to go from here. I, this level's kind of making me stuck. I think I'm over overthinking it. Curtis with the 50 stars. Thank you again, Curtis. Uh, Luther says what happened. We just had a, a, a disconnect. Just a technical issue happens. We're back though. Curtis, I know what you'd like, sir. We're going to be doing our third tier screen very soon. This is going out to you, brother. Hey, good to see you, Adam. <coughs> How you been keeping, man? It's been a little minute. Alright, so let's, uh... I'm trying to find which pipe's the correct pipe. So maybe it's this one. Let's have a look. Do we go down here? Well, where, where else are we supposed to go? Damn it! Stop hitting me, you little bug mother... Oh, really? After all that... Oh my- Oh, Clarence! Oh my goodness, dude! Thank you so much! So, Clarence says your daughters, Alessa and Catherine, are here. 1,000 stars. Thank you very much, Clarence. And a big hello to Alessa and, uh, Catherine, guys. I hope you all have a wonderful Christmas. You are awesome. Your dad is absolutely awesome. Thank you, Clarence. And, uh, much appreciated, man. That's really big. You know what? I'm gonna dance and take my shirt off now. <laughs> Not literally, Chuck's gonna do it for me. Thank you, man. Much appreciated. How are you guys all doing today anyway? You guys going well? Do I live near Rhea Ripley? No, she lives ages away. She's from South Australia. Rhea Ripley lives near where Mod Michael's from. I'm on the east coast of Australia. Rhea Ripley's from the south coast of the country. So she she lives near uh, Mod Michael and uh, Lil Foxy Mayhem. Rez says he's going to wait for the bootleg Star Wars, uh... Well, there you go. Yeah, Paul, we do a lot of old school stuff here as well as the new stuff, my friend. This reminds you of Pipe World? You always hated Pipe World. Yeah, Pipe World's not my idea of a good time either. I'm going to do the... Oh, damn you mother bitches! Sorry, guys, I've got no freaking patience today. I forgot you can run through those. Hey, Maddie, how you doing today? Welcome to the stream, yo. You read that drinking energy drinks daily increases stroke by 500%. That would make sense. Uh, well, it looks like I'm pretty fucked, aren't I? <laughs> Excuse my language. The amount of energy drinks I have to function. Never too late to give them up, I guess. Oh, goodness. There we go. We're finally getting through this. Try not to get stuck. Want this to be a nice, uh, smooth start since we've just reconnected. You know, I want this to, you know, for, you only get one chance to make a first impression. Any other news you guys got for me in regards to this weekend? As I said, I hope you all have a wonderful Christmas. Whatever it is you're getting up to. And, uh... US time, we're going to be streaming the entire Christmas day. So if you need somewhere to be or someone to hang out with, one coin got you covered. We got Jose in the business. Good to see you there, Jose. Thank you so much for coming in. Matthew says, am I pulling double duty? Yeah, man. D Wayne's going to have a day off from time to time. He works bloody hard. Oh, yeah, I have seen those, Tommy. I have, I have seen those things floating around. Some of them look okay. It's always hit and miss when you buy from China, though, isn't it? And Jeremy says, you saw Star Wars. Don't listen to the critics. You thought it was just fine. Thank you for that, man. I might go see it next week. But Tim says, you're going to be watching during the holiday. Bro, we'll be here. Oh, here we go. This is the end of World 5 already. Great. Moving along just fine here, guys. And guys, a thank you, uh, a big thank you again for uh, coming back after we re reconnected, guys. I know liking and sharing a game is a big pain, but we do appreciate it regardless. And uh, Jose, I am playing a game called Mario uh, 3 Mix. So basically what Mario 3 Mix is, it's every single Mario game up until 2014 uh, put inside the Mario Brothers 3 engine in 2D. So it's a really fascinating game. And by far and away the best Mario 3 hack that there is on the internet. So, 
I like to play this every month or so. It's, the difficulty is really fair in this game too. It's not balls to the wall, it's just, just right. My oldest daughter, hi, it's Alessa. Uh, also, your daughter says, you're asking, are you going to be making videos on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day? Alessa, we're going to be making cr videos on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Uh, on Christmas Eve, uh, D-Wayne is on all day, because that's Christmas Day my time, so I'm going to spend that with my family. But on Christmas Day, both me and D-Wayne. No, actually, I'm going to be on by myself on Christmas Day. And D-Wayne's going to be on by himself on Christmas Eve. So yeah, we're both going to be streaming all day on, on both those days. Thank you guys for the 50 stars. This one's going out to you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your question as well. And uh, Tommy says, you wonder what racing games the NES has to offer. Oh, there's good racing games on the NES. Uh, Rad Racer 1 and 2 are good racing games. RC pro M's a great racing game. Uh, there's a couple Formula 1 games on NES that are not so bad, though those kind of games don't hold up as well now. There we go, just gonna shoot the hell out of this snakey snakey, huh? Oh, I got you, Jeremy. Yep, yep. Hey, hey, the Lord is my shepherd. 100 stars. Thank you, my friend. Really, really appreciate those 100 stars. Merry Christmas to you. And Mark also with the 50 stars. Thank you very much, Mark. What can we give to you guys? Something nice. There we go. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Getting in the Christmas spirit here. There we go. Now's a good time of year to watch uh, National Lampoon's Vacation, I think. Great movie. The more I watch that movie, the more it grows on me, actually. Because, uh, you know, Christmas Vacation never used to be my favourite. But now that I've seen it a few times as an adult, I'm like... It's a lot more relatable for me, I think. Yeah, Christmas Vacation's a great movie. How you going there, Dan? Good to see you. I think the thing is, I didn't like Rusty and Audrey as much in Christmas Vacation as I did in the other ones, you know what I mean? Maybe that's what it is. Thank you, guys. Yeah, we, you know, we're not going to change our schedule. The only difference with this coming week is we're not doing Feed It or Eat It or whatever Wednesday. We're just giving them a week break, but they'll be back the following week. But apart from that, we're just business as usual here at OneCoin. And also on Monday on the 23rd, uh, we're doing the 12 games of Christmas stream. So we're going to be doing a special Christmas themed stream uh, on Monday. Oh, I got you, Captain BS. Yeah, see, I'm, Super Mario 2 is probably my weakest in the franchise, which makes me nervous because I'm doing a Christmas hack of Mario 2 for the Christmas stream, but we'll see how we go. Hopefully not so bad, brother. Exactly. We have, well, we're doing a die-hard stream as well, JJ, over Christmas, so don't you worry. <laughs> what's, what's wrong? What's wrong, Jeremy? Everything all right? Tom says you're thinking of spending your birthday hanging out with the younger... Well, why not? Okay, well, that's not the way I'm going to go. But yeah, a big, big thank you for coming back in, guys. And I do apologize for that technical difficulty before. Christmas Vacation comes on at 10 p.m. after Elf. And we're just going to jump... In. Oh, crap. Wow, that was lucky. All right, we'll take it. I haven't seen Elf all the way through. That's a Will Ferrell movie, right? Yeah, I haven't, I haven't seen all that movie, to be honest. What was another good Christmas movie I liked as a kid? I liked Santa Claus. You know that 80s movie with Dudley Ball? I used to like that, and you had the magical lollipops where everyone would fly. That was pretty cool. Oh, Clarence with another 500 stars! And a... And on behalf of the Stately family, I just want to wish all you guys a very, very Merry Christmas as well. Clarence with another 500 stars. Thank you, Stately fam. What can we give to you guys this time? I'm trying to find what a, you know, a Billy Madison. That makes Laura everyone Phil smile. <laughs> thank you, guys. More like hey, thank you for putting me in the Christmas spirit. 
Uh, we just had a technical issue, uh, sexy princess, but we're back. Don't you worry, I'm never gone for too long. Bad Santa is a pretty good Christmas movie, actually. We'll have to... I forgot about that one. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, we made it. <clears throat> Streaming software mishap. Yeah, it was the software. It wasn't the internet. I just had to... Yes, it happens. Oh, we're going to beat these things quickly. Hey, going, John. We got Sir Dash Gaming in the house. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good to see you again, good sir. And jo Jose says you just repaired your car today from a bad, from a bad clutch. Well, there you go. Got to get, got to get those wheels working, huh? I need to get myself another car in 2020. I, I, I need my freedom back. I hate not being able to drive it. At first, I didn't think it was such a big deal. But now I'm noticing how much my freedom has gone now that I don't have a set of wheels, so I need to buy a car this year. Plus, I can start another side hustle if I'm mobile. Plague, Plague, share the stream, yo! Big shout out to Surge, good to see you. Surge from Ian Tao Gaming, good to have you today. You've never seen a Christmas story, E.T. or Sesame Street. 50 stars from Mark. Mark, going out to you, sir. Yo, baby, yo, baby, yo. Baby, yo, baby, yo. Say, ow. Yo. Sexy Princess says, do I take the bus everywhere? I don't need to leave the house often, so when I leave the house, uh, I usually take Uber because the bus system is expensive and ridiculous over here. To be honest, buses are that expensive in Australia now. Uh, you know, after you account, equate time and money into it all, you're better off taking Uber over here most, most of the time, to be honest. Like, you're looking, you're looking for like, uh, to, to travel both ways on a bus, you're looking at $16 Australian, okay? That includes, like, the travel time, all the stops, the effort to walk to the bus stop and to walk to your home. When you include hours and money, just getting an Uber to go straight there for an extra $10, $15 uh, almost seems like the better option for me. <laughs> like, you know, it's just... But they, you know, I mean, I know obviously everyone's got a different budget, but I don't travel out of the house much anyway. As you guys see, I'm always here. But when I was DJing, I was always Ubering. <clears throat> hey, go on one. It's good to see you. Thank you for coming in. Hope you're having a wonderful day, sir. I don't know what the the price of public transport is in the United States, but over here it's really expensive. No, see, it's 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 really expensive. You can get a week pass, I think, which is a little bit cheaper, but it's a negligible difference. And uh, Dad says the public transport in the Gold Coast is pretty cheap. Oh, good to see you. We got One Coin Senior in here. Everyone, say hello to One Coin Senior. Um, yeah, Dad. I mean, you, the tram. I don't know how much the tram costs. I've never taken it, but in Brisbane, it's expensive. Everything's cheaper on the Gold Coast, except for, like, tourist touristy stuff. Rent is cheaper on the Gold Coast. I remember when I was living on the Gold Coast, I was living in some pretty nice places for next to nothing. <coughs> Tom says a Lego move. You know, this is, uh, this Lego game, uh, level here was actually from Super Mario Land 2. Uh, so if you guys have ever played Super Mario Land 2, the music's from that game as well. Oh, I see Sexy Princess. That's really, really cheap. Tim says everyone in Sco Scotland walks and rides a bus. Oh, I see. As I said, it's not that I'm like... Uh, See, I'm ha I mean, if, 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 if the public transport was efficient where I'd live, I'd just catch that. But as I said, the time and money combined, it just doesn't seem worth it where I am in Underwood. Um, if you're living in the city, uh, you're better off getting a bus. But if you're living in the suburbs, it's a waste of time. Hey, we got Alyssa over on... We got my niece Alyssa over on, uh, over on YouTube. Good to see you. I've had the whole family come in today. Thank you, guys. Dean says, how come I'm not on fire? Thankfully, there's no bushfires in my area, which is a miracle. And we got Fryzy back in the house. Good to see you there, Fryzy. Welcome, welcome, welcome. 
Wow, that's out the wow off peak the tram's only two dollars forty, huh? That is pretty good. Dad, the bus is like eight bucks here. It, that's with a go-kart. I think without a go-kart it's more expensive. Oh, hang on. Oh crap. I've gotta do this again. Dad says you got a frozen screen. <laughs> Uh, yeah, there's a lot of issues with uh, Facebook lately, Dad. It's a known issue on Facebook. The good news is, Dad, it's not the stream. The bad news is Facebook's got some errors today. It's causing problems for a lot of people. It's 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 Facebook wide. Listen, my niece says what's new. Not too much. I've just been working pretty hard the last week. Apart from that, just excited to come see you guys on Christmas Day. Are you excited for Santa? <laughs> Okay, I got you. I guess it's different everywhere, huh? See, I'm not too lazy to walk. I'd, I'd, I'd even prefer to walk. Damn it, sorry guys, I'm going really bad here. I'm, um, I'd, I'd prefer to walk than take the bus. You know, if, uh, you know, to that, you know, I'd rather get the exercise and wait on the bus for the same amount of time, for example. <clears throat> Yeah, Ricky Rick Papa one coin can't see. I know it's a, it's it's as I said, Dad. It's a known issue on Facebook, unfortunately, this weekend. It's affecting everybody. I'm gonna duck down here. Oh, there we go. Come on, one coin. Oh, jeez balls. Oh, jeez. Okay, well Mario's no good, is he? Come, oh, Mario. Oh, what? Damn you, Mario! You've got one job, and that's not to die. One freaking job, Mario. Oh, there you stay up here. You like walking too, but you're always running late for things. Ah. Uh, damn. Far out, guys. I'm, this is going pear-shaped very quickly. This is going pear-shaped very quickly. We can do this again. I'm rushing too much. You know, my good friend Matt from Inertia Attic Gaming, he's one of the best Mario players I know. And he says, you don't need to rush. You know, when you rush is when you make mistakes. So we're going to slow it down a little. Oh, good on you, Frizy. That's a pretty nice thing to do. And Lissy says she's been good sometimes. Lissy, what's going on? I want you to be good all the time. Sana says you got your Christmas shopping done today. Hahaha. <laughs> No, see, I, I'm exempt from death battles. I'm exempt from death battles. It's like, do as I say and not as I do. Well, one coin only doesn't need to fight to the death. It's my rules. <laughs> so I know it's a double standard, but what are you going to do? Hello, Governor. Good to see you, Steve. Going pear-shaped mean, kind of means going south, not going as planned. Uh, you know, that kind of thing. It's just an Aussie expression. Yeah, going, going south, not going as planned. It's just a term that we use over here. Going, yeah, pretty much. Like Murphy's Law, that kind of thing. Oh no, Lissy says Ashton's been... You, can't, you guys can't fight uh, over Christmas. As Nana used to always say to me, your brother and sister, you're supposed to love one another. Yeah, it's my body. I'll do it. Oh, wow. I know. Frizy says that we safe from the bushfires over here at the moment. Obviously, I have concerns this time of year because I do live amongst some bushland. Steve with a hundred stars. Thank you, Steve. Much appreciated, man. Big shout out to the Fields family once again. Steve, what are we going to give to Steve? Let me find something for you, Steve. Uh, we haven't done the Urkel dance today yet. How you going, James? Good to see you. Oh, so Matt, uh, Alyssa says you haven't seen Santa yet. Fair enough. Well, I hope you guys have a fun visit when you do. And Tam, I'm not, I'm not shaming people who are pear shaped. That's not what I mean. And there's plenty of people out there that like the big booty. <laughs> Tom says you've already done your random act of kindness for Christmas. You got your mates and PlayStation loot because why not? Exactly, man. Isn't that what the Christmas season's all about? 
Jose with the 100 stars. Jose, thank you very, very much, man. This one's going out to you today, brother. Los locos kick your ass. Thank you so much for the stars, my friend. Los locos kick your balls into outer space. Yeah, I agree with you, actually, uh, sexy princess. Like, uh, Megan and I used to fight all the time, but now we're amazing, you know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, I just, uh, you know, hope, hopefully there'll be some relief with some rain soon, because even though, like, we have a big bushfire risk uh, in the summertime, it's also our rainy season, or well, it's supposed to be our rainy season, so I'm hoping, uh, hoping we'll get a shit ton of rain soon. See, I've got the expressions today, don't I? Yeah, you know, that's a good idea. As I said, Eddie Murphy's, like, my favorite comedian. And what my dad, uh, dad, by the way, if you're still in here, Coming to America 2 is coming out next year, and I heard Eddie Murphy interviewed, and he said he's really, really happy with how it's turned out, so... Of course he's gonna say that, because he produced the film, but... <laughs> I miss you too, Lizzie. Only a few days, and then we're gonna go hang out, huh? Four more days. Four more sleeps. Dad says he thinks the elves got drunk on icing sugar. That could be it. Small waist with big booty and thick thigh problems are. Oh. No. <laughs> I feel bad for now using the expression pear-shaped. It means something different when I use it. I wasn't shaming nobody. Now I feel like a right asshole. For, for, for Christmas, Rick's being an asshole. <laughs> Are you playing, uh, do you have a, have you been playing, uh, the new Just Dance game, by the way, Alyssa? I know how much you like Just Dance. What do you think of the new one? Do you like the songs on it this year? <clears throat> and Jose says you need to pass this level without, uh, losing the Tanuki suit. Well, you know, I can't make any promises, but, uh, we're gonna give it our best shot. And, uh, just one more time on Facebook and YouTube, guys, if you can please give us a big thumbs up. And uh, share the stream out for us. We'd really appreciate that. Thank you, guys. Liz Lizzie says she likes a new uh, Just Dance game. You'll have to get your uncle to try it on the weekend or during the week. <clears throat> I'm glad to hear you're enjoying it so much. Oh, there we are. So is this the end? Great. Oh, it's all falling into place, guys. We're getting there slowly. So so now what do we got now? We're going to just go to the right-hand side. See, Oh, we can get some bonus items from here. That'll be cool. I'm going to try and save most of the last level. Oh, yeah. I mean, how many years later? <laughs> it's amazing, actually, because you're all much different personalities, I think, too. Myself. But I mean, there are some family traits that we all have, of course. <clears throat> and then, and then Tam says nothing fits easy though, but Tam, you've got those tight jeans on. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> As I said. Anyway, it's not one point after dark yet. It's gonna be appropriate here. I'm sorry, Tam. I just, I just want you to feel good about yourself, girl. Alright, we're gonna go back over here. You went back and rewatched me playing that Smurf game. Oh, I felt bad for Colin. Because you know how I kept getting stuck at the fence in that Smurfs game, Steve? Uh, Colin messaged me and he told me you're actually supposed to double jump. I didn't realize double jumping was a thing. Oh my goodness, guys, we need to pause the stream for a second. Jose just dropped a massive 1,680 stars. And uh, Jose says, Merry Christmas, one coin only, Ricky. Jose, Merry Christmas to you too, brother, man. That is super, super generous. Thank you so much. What can we, what can we give to Jose this time? I'm trying to think of one. Might give you this one, Jose. Thank you so much again, brother. Going out to you. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, there we go. Probably best to leave that question unanswered, Tam, huh? <laughs> Thank you so much, Jose. You're absolutely amazing, man. Appreciate you so much. I hope you and your family have a, a wonderful Christmas too, good sir. You, you gotta love the crabs in this game, huh, Lissy? They cause all sorts of problems. Give him Tia. Oh, I'm gonna be doing a brand new Tia screen for you soon, Curtis. So calm your tits. <laughs> oh, I, I just had enough by that point. You know, uh... Some weeks you guys give me really neat requests on whatever Wednesday, but this week, I'm just being straight up. The games I had on my list were freaking difficult. And by the time I got up to the Smurfs game, I was just like, nah, I'm done. I'm, I was like, I was so totally done. I had enough of gaming forever at that point. <laughs> hey, welcome back, Malcolms. Uh, good to see you again, brother. Sorry for disconnecting again before. I can't play that screen right now, Timmy, because my niece is in here. But I'm going to rain check on that screen for you, Tim, and I'll give you something else. I ought to be a good boy. This is going out to you. <laughs> I'll rain check on that screen, Timmy, I promise. Thank you for the 100 stars, my brother. Man, all those donations you've sent me, Timmy, have really added up. I appreciate you incredibly, sir. What about a buy Felicia star screen, you think, hey? It's not a half bad idea. You guys always come up with good ideas. So most of the time you do pretty well, Tom. I'd say your strike rate is pretty good, as we say in the cricket over here. You just find it funny. Yeah, I don't like Mario's freeze ability either, actually, Matt. That's actually one thing I'll agree on you with. I'm not really a big fan of Mario's freeze ability. There you go, well we've lost it now. And Dad's singing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star because all the star donations I've got. Way to go, Dad. <laughs> it's not about what it actually means, Matt. It's more about the context. Like, people say bye Felicia when they're getting rid of negativity or someone that's negative out of their life. So, I don't know if it's got an actual other meaning, to be honest, but I use it in that context. And in 2019, we need to remember context more and not so much a literal sense, you know what I mean? Yeah, I had to restart, uh, Mikey, because I had some connection. Oh, I didn't have a connection issue. I had a stream software issue, apparently. I got booted off uh, YouTube and Facebook. But we're back now, guys. We're back. Just like Eric uh, Bischoff's uh, music, I'm back and better than ever. And all that kind of business. <laughs> hey, welcome in, Kevin. Good to see you. Thank you for coming by. And as I said, guys, I will be coming on. Uh, with a late night stream, I just don't know uh, what necessarily that's going to be yet, but we'll work it out. Oh, some bish. Some freaking bish. And, uh, alright. I, I don't mind this level too much again. This is all just a patience game. I don't let the anti-gravity stuff intimidate me too much. With that being said, I have died a few times already. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm kind of, uh, I'm kind of upset that, uh, Eric Bischoff got let go from, uh, SmackDown. I was kind of hoping he'd become an on-air personality, to be honest. I was hoping Eric Bischoff would be, like, a general manager again or something. I think, I think he's better suited to an on-air role. I think it would have gotten really cool heat. Oh, Jose dropping stars again. Dude, thank you so much. Jose with 1,200 more stars. Man, you're putting a big... You want me to do American Truck Simulator? You know what? That is what we're going to do for our late night stream, Tam. Thank you. So, hey, Jose says he's out. See you Christmas Day on the stream. And uh, good night to everyone. Jose, once again, I hope you have a wonderful Christmas. And, uh, dude, we're going to have a really, really good time. Speaking of someone who has a good time... Uh, we got our friend JJ here. Thank you again, Jose. Hello, lucky person. You got the number right, because you are talking to kid a dynamite. Have a great evening, my brother. Appreciate ya. And Alyssa says, can I do... My niece says, can I do a video game at your house? Absolutely. 
Actually, uh, your mum and I already spoke about that, so we'll work something out. <laughs> yeah, I might do something cruisy like Truck Simulator after this. We'll do, uh, we'll do Batman in the next couple days. What's in this door? Oh, here we go. We made it to the end. Alright, we got there. Tom says he's been playing Smash Ultimate during lunch breaks at work with the... Oh, okay, gotcha. I don't know that controller, but it sounds like fun. I'm gonna go in this castle. Oh my gosh, I'm really hungry. I had a big, uh... I had a big lunch before I started this stream, but I'm really hungry again already. I think I've stretched my stomach because I've been eating too much bad food lately. So, like, here I am having just, like, a... Like a, a healthy meal. I just had like a small risotto. You know those frozen risottos? And I guess it's somewhat healthy. I mean healthier than what I have been eating. And now I'm hungry again. I had like a chicken and mushroom risotto. I'm actually not sort, sure to tell you, Alyssi. I'll have to work it out on Christmas Day for you guys. I, you know what? I haven't thought that far ahead yet because I've just had so much going on in my on my end. Been very very busy, but I'll definitely be at your house on Christmas, so don't you worry. I do have both those games actually, Tom. I just haven't got my Xbox connected at the moment, but I do have both those games and Forza Horizon too. And then Sexy Princess says, has anyone ever asked me out on stream? Uh, yeah, a couple girls have actually, but I think they were joking. I think they were joking. I don't think they were being serious. As I said, I'm not really interested in dating right now. I, 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 I love the ladies, don't get me wrong. They're just bad for my health. <laughs> As Mickey says in the Rocky movies, women weaken legs. Don't you worry about one... Oh. Hey, Adam, thank you very much. Adam says, any Christmas star screens? I've got a couple. Thank you very much, Adam, for the 100 stars. I'm going to start you off with this one. Thank you, Adam. 100 stars are much appreciated, brother. I'm using that star screen every single year. Yeah, no, I just gave the anti-sexy princess. Oh, no, I don't want you to be upset, Alyssi. I'm fine. I'm happy just working hard and, uh, you know, making things happen at one coin only. It's just not time for me yet. We are family. We are, exactly. Family's all you need in the end of the day, right? Hey, we got Hector back in the business. Well, Hector, I'm a little bit pissed off because I have to restart the stream. But uh, I'm doing okay now, thank you, my friend. <laughs> I want to try Forza Horizon uh, 3 because there's Aussie roads in Forza Horizon 3 and I think it would be really cool to show you like Byron Bay and Gold Coast and all that uh, in a racing game. So I want to do Forza Horizon 3 for you guys one day. As I said, my roommates kindly lent me uh, his Xbox One so now I can play all those games for you guys. Oh, okay, and how'd you go? Uh, how'd you go, Maddie? Oh, goodness. Hey, we got one-handed media over on YouTube. Thank you for joining us again, my friend. Don't forget, guys, we are streaming on both Facebook and YouTube. You guys can watch on the platform of your choosing. Ah. Well, beer and something else. Yes, Sam Blasted Gaming. But, I mean, there's primary needs and secondary needs, I think. So, you know, they go in two different boxes, I suppose. Anyway, we'll, we'll leave that one till one coin after dark. <laughs> oh, there we go. Look at this. It looks like the ex-mother-in-law. No, I'm just missing. Actually, no, it does kind of look like her. <laughs> oh, this game, Aaron? Thank you, man. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Oh, you, oh you're talking about Truck Simulator. Oh, let's try this again. Oh, just the nephew in here this time, so we got Ash in here now. There we go, we got Ash in the business. Always good to have you. Ash, what games are you playing lately, buddy? 
Liam is also watching on the big screen. How you going, Liam? See, I'm trying to watch my... If everyone's wondering why I'm not saying the F word too much, I've got both my nephews and my niece in here, as well as my dad, my sister, and my brother-in-law were watching before as well. Uh, I'm kind of stuck. You're getting you're getting PG rated one coin today. <laughs> And I'm also trying to be as emotionally mature as possible for once. How you going, Daniel? Good to see you. Justin says you also like the truck streams. Yeah, we. I mean, again, we haven't done the trucks in a while, so we'll do the trucks, uh... Yeah, we'll do the trucks today, for sure. As I said, I'm actually... What would you guys think about if I just had Big Sean and D-Wayne on Sundays? And if I took Sundays off, guys? Like, uh... And it's not not to be lazy. As I said, I really, really want to make more offline content. And the problem right now is I don't really have the time or the energy to schedule it in anywhere. So I'm just wondering what you guys would think if I took Sunday off to make offline videos. I'd love to know everyone's opinion. You guys would still be getting streams with D Wayne and Big Sean. I just feel bad when I'm not on camera for a day. So I thought I'd uh, let everyone know what they think. Get everyone's opinion. I know I keep saying I'm gonna do this, but I feel bad when I'm not on every day. Yeah, but this is what I do. This, you know, I'm like the Vince McMahon of. Well, I don't mean like because I own a big stream page, and I just mean work ethic wise. You know, I just like to push, push, push. It's just what I do. Well, where do we go now? Where's this gonna take us? Back up here. Thank you, James. I hope you're doing well too, brother. Adam says you need a day to yourself. Oh, dude, I'm going to try and do the right things. Like, I'll, I'll go on, like, one or two vacations a year if, if they're in the budget. But, uh, you know, apart from that, I want to be on camera seven days a week. You know what I mean? I want to feel like I earned my time off. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's a fair point, Captain BS. I won't read the whole comment out, but I did read it. Thank you, sir. Matt says that I get your message. Matt, you might have to copy and paste it for me, brother. You know what's a good mix? Rum and sarsaparilla, huh? Sarsaparilla was like the soft drink I really didn't like as a kid, but now I kind of enjoy it now. Sarsaparilla is okay. Yeah, we're like a one-coin-only sweatshop. <laughs> oh, Daniel says he's going to go get a truck simulator game. So, yeah, nice. Oh, no, I appreciate that, Kev. As I said, like, I want to start doing this vlog soon. Uh, you know, like, the, the, you know, the journey of being a streamer and, like, some self-help videos. So, like how to handle with like certain different things in the industry so I, I want to I want, and also want to do a lot more top 10 videos uh, and, and you know I just want to do like I, I don't want to be just a one trick pony I want to do the offline content as well but the primary amount of people come in here to watch me stream so that's always going to be my focus but I kind of want to do the other stuff too so let's try this again oh very nice Matt I'm happy to hear bro Try this again. Oh, I'm just gonna stay underneath this some bitch. Alright, oh no, really? Maybe I can duck here, maybe that helps. No, alright, maybe over I'm here. Oh gosh. Damn! Far out, man! This is really pissing me off this level. This is crazy. Alright, there we go. Come on, one more time. Oh! Oh, I hated this level so much last time I did it. This boss is literally harder than Bowser. This is probably the... Fuck off! Sorry, my niece and nephew. <laughs> oh my goodness. See, so much of being emotionally mature on this stream. Come on, this game would make you swear too. Alright, we got it. Done. Alright, oh, oh, that's over with. 
I'm not really watching anything on Netflix, actually, Adam, to be honest. I do have Foxtel, which is like our cable service still, only because I get it really cheap. Uh, but not much else. And Dustin's like, language, Ricky, think of the children. Timmy's like, you could do it, Rick. <laughs> Timmy, thank you again for another 100 stars. We're going to give you a little bit of the bubble owl. Hey, look at this one. There's a little guy in there. Can't even get proper olives, can you? What else we got? Oh, a little bit of the bubbly. Well, thank you, Sam Blast. No, Sam Blasted Gaming. You've uh, done plenty for us, man. Include after D look after D Wayne quite a lot, man. I appreciate ya. And um, Dad says he learned all about the dry Bowser today. Oh, that's that skeleton Bowser, right? Yeah, that's some bish. All right, we got two worlds left, guys. And Tam's like, oh, my virgin ears. Come on, Tam. It's not like you haven't heard the the earth word before, eh? <laughs> Thank you again, Timmy, for the 100 stars. Matt says he doesn't want the bubble owl. Well, fine, I'll have your glass. Who are you being a party pooper, Matt? So Sexy Princess says she's calling it a night. All right, girl, well, you have yourself a, a wonderful evening. Hey, we'll see you again tomorrow. Um, D Wayne's not going to be on until late tomorrow night, so you might miss him as well. But, uh, yeah, D, D, no, hang on, I'm on by myself tomorrow as well, aren't I? Oh yeah, I'm on by myself all day tomorrow too. I forgot D-Wayne's having another day off. <laughs> How you going, John? You too, brother. Good to see you today, my man. Thank you for coming in. Just one more time, guys. If you could please give us a big, gigantic thumbs up. If you haven't already, either on Facebook or YouTube, we appreciate it. So that's all your favorite food. Ice cream, donuts, bacon, and pancakes. Pretty close to being some of my favorites on that list too. I, I I love Boston cream donuts. They're the chocolate coated ones with cream in the middle. I do love a good uh, Baskin and Robbins Sunday. Bacon's wonderful. And uh, what pancakes? I, lo I love a stack of pancakes at Pancake Manor. Dad got me onto that from a young age. That didn't really work out for us, did it? Is this the right way? <laughs> How you going there, Kelly? Good to see you. Welcome to the stream. Adam says he works seven days a week at the tattoo shop. I just I just feel guilty when I don't work because in the last you know, I, I you know, traditionally I was kind of You know, ever ever since I hit my thirties, I've kind of become my uh, in mid thirties anyway, I've kind of become a workaholic. I just don't know any other way. Timmy says bacon is a beautiful thing. Hey, go we've got Humberto in the house. Good to see you, man. Wait, have we beaten that one already? No, we haven't. All right, we're going to go in here first. Oh, there's a virtual racing on the 1UP Arcade? Yeah, sure, Tom. I mean, I know you'd like that one a lot. Thank you, Lissy. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you to the whole family for being in here once again. Damn, you like Boston Cream Donuts as well? When I was a kid, I loved the Jam Donuts. But I think Boston Cream are now my favourite. You go a couple Flapjacks right now. So can I ask you guys, what's the difference between a Flapjack and a Pancake? Because I always thought they were kind of the same thing. Because I don't think we do Flapjacks in, in Aussie. So yeah, so what's the difference between a Flapjack and a Pancake? And Dad, have you ever had a Flapjack? You, you, you just wired the way you're wired, huh? It's just, you know... Lee, oh my goodness, Dad says Liam just dropped the F-bomb. I'm in big trouble off my family on Christmas Day. There you go, I just taught my nephew the F-word, everyone. That, that's my proud achieving moment in life. <laughs> just different names as far as you know. You always thought they were the same thing, so they are the same thing, okay. So Jerry says they are both the same thing, alright. Because I was getting super, super confused. I guess I'm overthinking it. You swear they're the same thing. Say you like crepes. Okay. Oh, so they're like thinner pancakes, like a crepe or something. Okay. Now, over here, if you go to the pancake place, you either get a pancake or you get a crepe. So that, that's what we call them. We don't call them flapjacks over here. Dad just asked, aren't flapjacks a little bit larger? I don't know, are flapjacks bigger? 
It was just delaying the inevitable. <laughs> Thank you again, guys. Again, Liam, don't, don't do what Uncle Rick does. Uh, because if you say the F word, then you're going to get a lump of coal for Christmas. No, don't cry. I'm just kidding. That was a bad joke. Poor Liam's too young to understand that. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I'm going to have to reload on this one now. You thought they were thinner? Yeah, so you can go to the Pancake Manor over here and get, like, the, the berry and... The berry crepes and all that. Hey, we got L.A. Evans in the house. Good to see you, L.A. Evans. Thank you very much for coming back in. Oh, not much, bro. We just had to reconnect because we had some connection issues today, unfortunately. We're doing all right now. I really feel like pancakes now. As I said, unfortunately, uh, not driving at the moment, so I'm not within uh, a close distance to a pancake place, unfortunately. I could make them myself. But they don't taste anywhere near as good when you make them, you know, out of the instant pancake mix. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, sorry guys, I'm getting really stuck in this level. Let me just focus for a sec. No one, no one likes when someone keeps repeating the same place over and over. Or we just gonna get our head together. Waffles and French toast are better anyway. I like waffles, but I prefer pancakes. John says French toast is a meaning. I like, yeah, I like cinnamon toast. French toast is pretty good. I don't know how to make it properly. Have you ever had a hard chocolate chip pancake? Then we have. As I said, we got a famous pancake chain here uh, called uh, the Pancake Manor. Actually, the one in my area is open 24/7 and has been since I was a baby. And, uh, yeah, you can get, like, the regular stack of pancakes, which is my favourite. Or you can get, like, the triple chocolate ones. Um, all sorts of stuff. So, yeah, no, pa pancakes are popular over here. We don't have as many waffle houses as what you guys have, but, uh... You know, it's something that's still done. Oh, some bish! Why is this level such a freaking... Okay, I've got to stop swearing, but seriously... I'm getting pretty hungry now, too. I was hungry ages ago already. Oh, boy. I'm getting really drained on this Mario hack. I'm kind of excited to get to World 8, because World 8's nowhere near as tedious as this one. Oh, damn. I did that again. Tam says she makes the best French toast for uh, Christmas morning every year. You know what French toast I used to like, but I tried not to eat too much of it? The French toast you used to get at Sizzler's. Because if you eat too much of it, then you won't have enough space for the, the all-you-can-eat bar. But the, the French toast at the old Sizzlers used to be pretty nice, too. Or the cheese bread, or whatever you call it. Sounds like IHOP. Which is, funny, which is quite ironic, since uh, we don't have IHOP, considering it sounds like a kangaroo, and that's what we're known for. We should have IHOPs all over the place here. Thank you, Munster. Appreciate it. Welcome back in. I'm a big believer that with my workload, I should be able to have a holiday guilt-free during the year. But I do feel guilty when I go away. I just can't always relax. <laughs> my niece and nephew say they love Christmas. Of course you do. You guys are, you guys are young. Christmas is still very, very special for you guys. I don't want to sound like the bar humbug guy. It's different when you're an adult. <laughs> they invented the French toast to get rid of stale bread because you cannot tell after you cook it and stuff. Oh, is that where it came from? And then, so, uh, Lissa says Dad's the best at making cheesy toast. Yeah, Mum and Dad are both pretty good in the kitchen, huh? And Munster says, oh, Munster says you're the best gamer in the world, my friend. Munster, I really appreciate you. Now, I, I look, I'm not going to agree with you, but what I will say is I appreciate the fact you, you enjoy what we do, man. So thank you so much. <laughs> Matt says, what is Bar Humbug? That is a, 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 a one-liner from A Christmas Carol, which was uh, a famous Christmas novel... Uh, back in the late 18th century 
And uh, the main character in the book asked uh, Ebenezer Scrooge uh, for the day off to spend uh, Christmas with his family. And, and Uncle Scrooge was like, bah humbug, Christmas, whatever, you have to work, you can't have a day off. And then he got visited by three ghosts, and then he changed his ways, and yeah. Bah humbug comes from that story. So thank you, Dave, you're good people. <laughs> boo. Why, why are you going boo at? Dad says French toast equals bread and eggs. Really complicated stuff. Yeah, well, there's a certain finesse to making food, Dad, which I don't have. There you go. Dad, Dad, Dad's, Dad's been very cheeky over on the YouTube, guys. You, you, you know, you know, you now know where I got my obnoxiousness from. I got it from my dad. <laughs> And, uh, John says, you don't do Christmas personally, but you, you wish people a safe and happy holiday. Oh, I just want everyone to be happy and healthy in Christmas. As I said, the one thing I like about Christmas is I get to see the family. So, I mean, that's, that's better than a kick in the head, right? No, you didn't scare me. You have to do more than that, uh, to scare me. I play zombie games every day. <laughs> Oh, I'm happy. I want, I want everyone to have a happy, safe, and all that time on their Christmas. Oh my goodness, Mikey's... Wow. Really, Mike? Like, really? <laughs> We're gonna go back out here. Hopefully we'll be alright. Alright, there we go. We're making it. So far, so good, everybody. Hopefully the end is cometh. As I said, this is my least favorite world, I think, in the whole game. But we are very close to being done here. Hey, going? We got James in the house. Good to see you, James. Welcome to the stream. Appreciate you coming by once again. Uh, Bobby Cr I don't even know what that is, Adam. You're going to have to explain that one to me. Is it, can we go down this? No oh, I just got bit in the ass by a piranha plant. All right. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear, John. We're here for you. You got the Sunbish Army behind you, my friend. <laughs> All right, now what are we gonna do? I guess we're gonna go back in this for now. Come on, your dad just said exactly what you were thinking when you. Well, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not saying what dad said was false. I'm not saying what he said was false. And then, and then, uh, my, my niece says you're the queen. No, you are not the queen, you are the princess. You're not old enough to be the queen yet. <laughs> and Adam says, have I seen Talladega Nights? Yeah, but I don't remember every single, uh, joke in the movie. Like, I've seen other Will Ferrell movies a little bit more. Which is quite ironic, actually, because I do love NASCAR. Ryan with the 95 stars. Thank you again, Ryan. Be right with you, sir. There we go. We're almost out of here. What are we going to give to Ryan today? Oh, this one's going out to all my friends from Texas in the house. And hey, we got Big Rome's video game room in the house, guys. Another awesome streamer. Good to see you, Big Rome. Thank you for joining us today. I hope you're having a wonderful day, sir. Thank you again, uh, Ryan again. Damn it, I just died. Now where are we going? You can you can be the princess, yes. I totally just stuffed up. Now we have to do this again. Fuckity fuck fuck. Oh my gosh. If you ain't first, you're last. Everyone remembers that line. That, that, oh, oh gosh darn it. Totally lost concentration and then I... Fuck, fuck, fuckity. Sorry, I'm just really angry that I died in that other bit. <laughs> Oh, what are you up to for your Christmas anyway, Big Rome? You got any ch uh, got any plans, sir? Where are we gonna get this little flower? Yeah. Oh, oh wow! I'm back to being small ass bitch, Mario. We can get out of this. All right, there we. go. There we go, we made it. Now I'm going to save from here. Hopefully we don't have to repeat this whole thing again. 
He got his arm broke for so Oh, I see. I remember. Actually, I do remember that bit of the movie. And and Alyssa says you miss cake. Doesn't Mum make cake all the time? I mean, that's. I mean, bloody oath. That's why she was on TV. <laughs> Full of Bill, totally over. Yeah, he's causing me a few headaches today. Alright, we can do this one quite easily. We got this today, some bitches. Alright, that's the second one. Oh no, get back over here, Rick. Don't you screw it up. There we go, we got it. Oh, no way! What a, what a crock of crap. I totally beat him. Alright, let's do this again. Damn, Rick. You're losing your edge, brother. You're losing your edge. It has been four hours of Mario after all. I'm burning out. See, I've got excuses already. You're hanging out with the family on Christmas and your lady? Very nice, man. I hope you guys have a wonderful evening. It sounds nice. Oh, we did it. So, so you say your mum co uh, makes cookies more often? I love that cookie machine. I loved, uh, I loved the, the cookies that Mum made me with the one coin only design on it. That was pretty special. Lucky I saved the picture too. Right, so let's have a look over here. We're not too far away from being finished with this uh, world. As I said, World 8 in this game is pretty straightforward, guys. I think World 8 in this game is a bit more straightforward than it is in the original. Oh, damn it. See, I'm rushing too much. That's the biggest, uh... It's the biggest reason I have trouble in Mario games. I treat it like Sonic. Just want to go run, run, running all evening, you know? These, these games were not designed lot for that, Rick. You gotta slow down, mate. It's always balls to the wall with you. Alright, we're gonna go down here. Alright, Rachel's... Oh, damn it! Rachel's part of the 700 Club. Big congratulations, Rachel. Hey, go, Matthew. Good to see you once again. All right, let's do this one more time. Oh, I need to calm my farm. I saw that bad, Rick. Oh, I did not want that one. Can this game have rat warp so it can be faster? Ah! Uh, I think there are warps in this game. No, actually, I don't know if there's warps in this game. If there are, I haven't found them. I don't know. That's a that's a that's a, a pretty reasonable question, but I'm not sure. So I think what I need to do is I need to uh, entice this guy to come over to this wall, and we need to to kick his. Wait, I think I need to carry this over here. I think. Or maybe not. Let's just go back. Oh, shit. Well, I needed to be small Mario anyway to get up here. So that works. Much love to you too, Roman. Guys, don't forget to check out Big Rome's page as well, guys. Another awesome stream. He's been going for longer than what I have. And always appreciate the time you take to come say hello, sir. And then and Alyssa says, don't be mean. I'm not being mean. What? Ah, oh, damn! I'm not being mean. I'm just angry because I'm losing. Hey Josh, thank you man. Josh with the 300 stars. Man, much love to you brother. This game is just starting to get really hard by this point. Josh, I'm going to be right with you with a great big thank you screen, man. Oh, there we go. We made it, finally. Oh. Oh, so, did, did, uh, Dad says, did I hear on Thursday, uh, they hit a new temperature uh, record in... Uh... Yeah, I did hear that. That includes Tasmania, which is not a hot place. Yeah, I've been keeping track with the news. I'm Ignorance has been very much bliss in my department just because I've been uh, in the air conditioning. But it's been a very dry heat when I've been outside. So anyway, I haven't forgotten about Josh. What can we give to Josh? I'm going to give you this one, Josh. Big shout out from our boy Enzo. Well, what do we got over here? Looks to be one coin only. How you doing? It's Enzo, smack talk of Skywalker. And if I had a dime for every time I got knocked down, didn't get back up, I'd have zero dimes. But I'm happy to have one coin only. How you doing? 
I'm doing pretty well, Enzo. Hopefully we'll see you back in a federation sometime soon. And, uh, yeah, this game is a bit glitchy. It's, it, it's always going to be glitchy because this hack really punches above its weight when it comes to content. But uh, it's not unplayable. I still think this is the best Mario 3 hack uh, on the internet, hands down. Yazid is being mean. Oh, was he really? I'll keep an eye on him. I, I didn't see anything mean, but I'll keep an eye on him. Liam is bailed. Liam's now watching Peppa Pig. <laughs> well, that's kind, Matt, but I, I don't have the book with me to write them down now. I'm still going to need to get it in my inbox. And Alexis, good to see you. Alexis says, hi, you have the worst Christmas in the world. You've got the cold. I'm sorry to hear. Alexis, what are we going to give to Alexis? I hope you feel better soon. And uh, Alexis, this one's going out to you, my friend. Hey, we got Retro Joe in here as well. Good to see you, Mr. Joe. Joe's another person that I've met behind the scenes as well. Alexis, as I said, Alexis, I hope you're feeling better soon. Thank you for the stars today. And don't forget, guys, as I said, I'm going to come back on for the late night tonight uh, with some Truck Simulator for you guys. We haven't done Truck Simulator in about, uh, about three weeks now, I think. So I think it's time. Dan says, whatever happened to Enzo? Uh, well, I, Enzo had uh, got let go because he had some legal trouble, which he turned out being innocent from. And uh, ever since then, he's just kind of been working on his music projects. But from what I heard, he wants to come back to wrestling. And is this the right way? Oh, damn, I just got smoked. Man, I don't like doing these... Oh, so this is an anti-grab level... And an ice level. Like, it's all sorts of bullshit. Damn you, mother bitch. <laughs> oh, you got to see Joe in Cleveland as well, hey? Big, big shout out to all the Columbus sumbishes. Whereabouts in Cleveland do you actually live, Big Road? Yeah, I can see you there, Dennis. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome back, brother. Dennis, you're becoming like the furniture now. You're a big regular here. Good old upside down levels, huh? Going all Rad Gravity style. Do any of you guys remember the NES game Rad Gravity? I got that uh, for Christmas one year. How you going, Eli? Good to see you. He worked at your show in Maryland. I, I miss the days where managers were an important part of the wrestling business. I'd be happy if Enzo was just a mouthpiece like Paul Heyman. I think there's still a place for him, you know? We got Fred in the building. Good to see you, Fred. Welcome, 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 welcome. It's been a little bit bit of a minute, sir. How are you and the family going? Hope you guys are all fantastic. There we go. We made it. Let's go on this pipe. And Enzo had a Twitter war with Tamatonga. And who was that other guy that he was uh, in uh, the wars with? What's his name? Um, what was it? Joey Canella? By the way... Small World? Is that, no, no, what's his name? Is that, did I say it right? By the way, that guy actually joined us for a one coin only stream one day. I thought that was pretty amazing that we got a famous wrestler in here. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to get my elect uh, electricity bill, Dad, in like the 1st of January, and I am not looking forward to it because I have the aircon every day, like pretty much 24 7. Yeah, plag, plag, share the stream, yo! Again, big shout out to Ian Tao Gaming, of course. We're almost out of here, guys. Yeah, Joey Janela, that's the one. Yeah, he came in and watched a one coin stream while D Wayne was uh, playing Mortal Kombat. I thought that was really cool. <laughs> I, I thought it was especially cool because, you know, a wrestling celebrity. You know how much we all like wrestling here, so that's like pretty special. Uh, I'm sorry to hear Fred explains why we haven't seen you too much lately, man. I hope you're getting better. It's not, not a cool time of year to be sick. Uh, Hewlin dropping the 50 stars. Hewlin, thank you so much for that support today, my friend. Don't forget in life you need to dance like no one's watching, my friend. Thank you for the kind support. Sweet, dance. 
You do all watch all the time. There's nothing ugly about you, Adam. What are you talking about? I won't be hearing that nonsense. <laughs> oh, gosh. Right, so there's like a trick to this. You have to sort of float with the... Oh, this, is, this, this bit's all sorts of annoying. It's alright, we'll get out of here. See, that? that's a pain, that bit. As I said, we only got a couple stages left in this one, then World 8 to go. How much time have we spent on this? We've already been back on for an hour plus. Alright, cool. Don't forget, as soon as this is finished, guys, we got our bonus game. And, uh, it's a bonus game we've done before, but it's really fun nevertheless. Yeah, he came in during D Wayne's uh, Mortal Kombat stream. I think it was a real Joey Janela. You never know. It could have been an imposter, but I don't think so. I think it was a real guy. I miss you too, Lissy. As I said, gorgeous, I'm going to see you in four days. I'm going to spend lots of time with you. We're going to play video games. I'm going to beat up your brothers. It's going to be a fun time. Oh, that's your wrestling name? Oh, okay. Well, in that case, it's a very good wrestling name. <laughs> in that case, it's a very good wrestling name. Alright, there we go. We're done. Yes, you can help me. Yeah, absolutely you can. <laughs> Lee, Liam always likes to play rough and like smack me around in the face and stuff. And then when I hold him upside down, he starts crying. <laughs> I'm such a bad uncle, aren't I? Matt says this boss is boring. Well, I'm sure you can come up with a more interesting comment as well, Matt. So, you know, I guess you and the game have got something in common. I'm just teasing, that's a bit rude. It's not nice, it's not nice to be overly critical though, Matt. <laughs> and then Dennis says, by the way, I sent a stream link to OneCoin. You said you'd check it out last time. Did you send it to in my inbox or on the page? I'll, I'll definitely check it. Thank you for letting me know. Again, I've just, um... If I, uh... Yeah, guys, if, if, if I, I do miss any of your messages in, in the inbox, I do apologize. Like, we're in the blessed position where we get ten, tons and tons of messages a, a day, and I just get a little bit overwhelmed sometimes. But yeah, all you need to do is remind me. I'll get back to you. Just keep on my case. <laughs> I'm, I'm playing nice, Adam. I'm playing nice. Good to see you again, by the way, Bian. We got Bian over on YouTube. We got William back over on the Facebook. Good to have you again, William. And uh, once again, I want to apologize to everyone for the disconnect before. We had some uh, technical issues today, but it looks like they're all sorted. So, uh, yeah, we are live still on Facebook and YouTube. You guys are welcome to watch on the platform if you're choosing. I need some more energy drink. I feel like I'm starting to get an energy calm down now. Oh, I see, Dennis. That explains it, because I literally woke up out of bed and, uh... That explains it, because I literally woke up out of bed and started streaming. No worries, Dennis. I'll get back to you. Alright, so let's see what we got here. Now, don't forget, as soon as the stream is finished, guys, I'm probably going to take an hour break just to rehydrate, uh, have something to eat, and then I'll come on with Truck Simulator for the late night, guys. We're going to go, uh, yeah... Oh, nice. Kevin also says, Lissy, that he's looking forward to seeing uh, his nieces and nephews at Christmas time. I hope you have a hell of a day, sir. We are so close, guys. One more castle. That's it. Oh, we all remember this level, don't we? It's from Mario 3, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, goodness. Okay, this is, this is not so bad so far. Oh, okay, until I hit those mother... Okay, I'm not going to say that word. My, my niece is in here. I nearly dropped a very, very naughty... I nearly I nearly went all Samuel L. Jackson on this stream. 
One coin after dark, it's awesome. Probably not when the family's in here. <laughs> so Kevin says your sister's birthday is also on Tuesday. And William says have I ever streamed from my bed? Yeah. We used to have a show which probably wasn't the world's best idea called In Bed With One Coin on YouTube. And I used to play PS4 games from the comfort of my bed. But uh, yeah, that probably wasn't the best uh, marketing decision I ever came up with. <laughs> No, I used to, uh, earlier in the year, I was streaming from bed every now and then, for the late night. <laughs> well, thank you, Bian. I, I, know, I know you like the Aussie potty mouth. I mean, it's something we do well here. You guys are probably aware of a comedian we have called Isaac Butterfield. That's how the majority of Australians talk. <laughs> Especially young Aussies. Hey, how you going, Bill? We've got Bill in the house. Good to see you, my brother. Thank you for coming in. Fred says he's been playing American Truck Simulator all day. Your wife is giving you dirty... Yeah, man. Happy wife, happy life. And, uh, yeah. Man, you got to do those chores for the missus. Otherwise, you're not going to get a Christmas present. <laughs> hey, Jesse. Good to see you. Thank you for coming by. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Bill, where is Ted? Oh, wow. Well... That's like totally a D-Wayne joke. You guys have obviously been watching him a lot. <laughs> so Dennis says, what happens in Boxing Day? Uh, apart from the fact that it's my birthday, uh, Boxing Day is when people go and get cheap... Uh, get uh, get cheap stuff from the shopping mall after Christmas. Shopping's very cheap on Boxing Day. That's kind of what... That's the ish that happens on Boxing Day. I usually stay away from the malls myself on Boxing Day. There is a new Bill and Ted movie coming out. I, I, I really enjoyed Bill and Ted as a kid. Again, my dad took me to see uh, Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey when I was a kid, and I freaking loved it. I saw Bogus Journey before I saw Excellent Adventure, actually. I saw the sequel, and I was like, this is cool. And then I saw the first one, and I was like, oh, this is cool. And then I'm going to see the new one, and I'll be like, oh, this is cool. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Dennis. Appreciate it. Yeah, you only get one birthday a year, right? Unlike the women who try to have a whole birthday month. I, I, I had a, I had one girlfriend that'd be like, this is my birthday week. You've got to be nice to me. And then I had one girlfriend who tried to push her month and she's like, you've got to be nice to me. It's my birthday month. And I'm like, oh, no, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> And William says, you saw Spaceballs before you saw Star Wars. Actually, Star Wars was one of the first movies I ever saw. Because that's one of my dad. New Hope was one of my dad's favorite movies. And I remember him playing that for me in Indrapilly when I was like uh, about two and a half years old. Now, I think the first three movies I saw was uh, Star Wars, Aeroplane, and 9 to 5. They're the first three movies I remember. Oh, and Annie would have to probably be up there as well. That'd probably make it number four. You know, the sun will come out tomorrow. It's a hard enough life. You know that movie? Yeah. Matt says Spaceballs is weird. Bro, it's supposed to be weird. <laughs> That's what makes it awesome. I, I, I have a funny feeling, Matt, you're probably missing the point. You don't think Spaceballs is funny, Matt? Very surprised. A very merry unbirthday. Thank you, Ander. I appreciate that. <laughs> oh yeah, the the gotta get rock and roll to ya. Is the Sega Genesis Mini worth? I want to get a Sega Genesis Mini after Christmas again. Like my issue is they re-release Genesis stuff to death, but I heard the Sega Genesis Mini is the best Sega collection to date, and I heard it's really, really, really good. So, it's something I want but don't need, but I'm probably going to go get the Sega Genesis Mini. So, my answer would be yes. The 9 to 5, the oddball out of the 3. Well, you have to have a movie in there for Mum as well. So, you know, two, two movies from Dad, one movie from Mum. <laughs> Mind you, 9 to 5 had a lot of adult humour, actually. It was kind of funny. Like, some of the jokes in that still hold up. <clears throat> yeah, 
there we go. So now what's the princess? They have taken your special one to the center of the universe. We must go, all right. All right, guys, this is it. This is the lucky last world now. They kidnapped your special one while you were traversing the galaxy. She is at Bowser's galaxy in the center of the universe. Oh my goodness, I hope she's worth the trouble, Mario, because this has been a long-ass stream, dude. <laughs> it's been a long stream. I hope she's been worth the trouble. Oh, yeah, because that's right. Um, because that's right, they had that little girls get-together. What, Jane Fonda, Dolly Parton, and what's the other girl's name, the comedian chick? Famous, the other girl's famous too. Um, but they had that scene where they're on the gun jar and they all fantasized about how they kill their boss. Who I really like too, Dabney Coleman. Dabney Coleman was also in uh, Broadwalk Empire. That was a pretty cool show. Pretty, uh, pretty out there show too, actually. See, that's, yeah. I, I do want to get one. It's, it's, it's just something that I want for my own time. I'd probably never stream off it. Oh wait, this is the World 8 from... Okay, have you noticed guys? This is World 8-1 from Super Mario Bros. 1. The only difference is um, there's a black background. I didn't even realize that at first. That's kind of cool. All right, cool. All right, well, we made it out of here. We, we ain't found shit yet. <laughs> Comb the desert, everybody. Guys, we are almost back up to a hundred likes this stream as well. One more time, if you could please give us a big thumbs up, guys. I would totally appreciate it. On both Facebook or YouTube. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to get a Genesis Mini. The thing is, like, I've got, I've got a... There's so many vi video game parables I want to get, but I really need to build up some capital too, you know? I can't just keep buying freaking games all the time, even though it's what I do, because I want to buy a Dreamcast as well next month. I want to get a... A Sega Dreamcast because I want to stream off that hardware for you guys also. Oh, what the hell was that nonsense? What if Peach friendzoned Mario at the end of the game? Well, you know what? Mario here shouldn't have been a beta male going to all this trouble for nothing. Like, I tell you what. Like, I, I love the ladies as much as anyone else, but I'm not going to go to this much trouble for a girl. Jesus. It's like, get yourself out of your own pickle. <laughs> Uh, all right, let's do this. Oh, damn. You, you, if you get Dreamcast, you can do your request. It didn't work. Well, if you want to donate the game to me, Matt, because I might not necessarily buy 2K on Dreamcast, brother. We'll see. But, you know, you never know, Matt. If those games end up being cheap enough, I might grab a hold of them. Yeah, I'm starting to run out of room on my shelves as well. Like, I've got nowhere to put my Xbox consoles at the moment. Hey, Jared with the $3 Super Chat. God bless you, man. Thank you so much, brother. Jared dropping the big $3 Super Chat over on YouTube. What can we give to Jared today? And we got Stefano in the business. Good to see you. This is going out to you, Jared. Thank you again, sir. Oh, yeah. After I'm done with the streaming for the day, I'll, I'll head on over, Drew. Thank you for letting me know. Yeah, uh, D-Wayne's going to do C-Man. Uh, I'd love to have a copy myself, Payron. But uh, I think D-Wayne's D suggestion is a really good idea. For those of you guys who don't know what C-Man is, he's like uh, a little virtual pet that came with the Sega Genesis. And uh, you can raise a virtual pet, but you have to raise him in real, real time. So what D-Wayne was thinking of doing was leaving the C-Man going in the background while he does another stream. And I think that's an incredible idea. Um, apparently there's a way that you can manipulate the system. And if you change the time on the Dreamcast clock, Apparently your C-Man will grow a lot quicker, so there is a way to To make him grow faster, but I'll, I'll have to google it again Do I have any Fatal Fury open ball games? Ah uh, Yeah, we we have I, I don't have them downloaded right now, but D-Wayne and myself have done them in the past We do do a lot of Beats of Rage stuff 
We have to go back to some of that stuff, actually. That'll be fun. Well, let's let's try this again, guys. I'm going to keep my head down, guys. The final world here. And Dennis says he's going to play some Dungeons & Dragons Shadow Over Mystara. That's a wonderful game. That's a really good game. Not my most popular stream when I do it on here, but I really do enjoy it. If I can sneak in this way. Damn, that, that I knew that was going to be too much to ask, huh? Ah, mother bitch! Son of a biscuit. Come on, Rick, get down. Get down. Da, 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 down. Get, get down. Da, 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 da. Remember that song? Down, 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 down. If you don't remember that song, I've just made a total fool of myself. Anyway, the old house song from the 90s. Late 90s, early 2000s. Oh, gotcha, Captain BS. Hey, we got Steve in the business. Good to see you, Steve. Ricky, just watched AVGN video on it. Which game is that again? Sorry, Payron. Damn, this is a, an annoying-ass freaking level, this one. Now what? Oh, hopefully we'll get another mushroom from this sunbish. Well, how about that, guys? That worked out. Oh, look at that! I just went ducky. Wasn't that a bunch of skill? I just used my skills, mate. Oh, yeah, no, I did see the ABGNC men. Yeah, I did see it. I saw that. That must have been where I got the information from. That was... <laughs> that was a really, really... I don't know if you guys watched the Angry Video Game Nerd, but the Seaman episode was really, really funny. Uh, because... Um, the angry video game nerd kind of treated him like his therapist, and he was like laying on the couch, like letting known his like semen know his like innermost thoughts, and it was it was pretty funny. It was well done. It's actually up there with one of the better episodes, I think, to be honest. Yeah, we're talking about the seaman episode. Yeah, the, have you not seen it, Kev? Oh boy. Don't forget, guys, as soon as this is done, we have a bonus game, so we're not disconnecting yet. And then Matt says, Angry Video Game Nerd is crazy. Why does he act like that? Because video games make people like me and James Rolfe go absolutely freaking mental. James Rolfe and I are not the most emotionally mature people in the world, and it just takes a, a, sim a simple death to drive us over the edge, you know? We're very flawed, you see. <laughs> Damn it, this is really, really tough. Try again. Oh wow, Time Crisis was on the Dreamcast as well. I did not know that, and I had the gun for Dreamcast back in the day too. Hell yeah! So did you play? Did you play? Did you play Time Cross Crisis on an old CRTV? Because it doesn't work with the digitals, right? Uh, so James says you hate to do it, but SmackDown was not fun. I'm not surprised, bro. I am not surprised, dude. Unfortunately, SmackDown's always a write-off at Christmas time. One of those unfortunate things, huh? Oh crap, that was. Oh my gosh, that's nuts. Let's try this again. Hopefully, we're going the right way now. Oh, how about that? Matt says that I look at my inbox. When did you send me a message, brother? Dude, you guys don't realize that I'm pretty busy and I don't just like sit on my computer all day long, right, Matt? How long ago did you send it? I'll always, always get back to you, bro. You need to cut me some slack. I'm not a T800. <laughs> lately, I haven't been watching every episode. Like, lately on Monday Night Raw and SmackDown, I just fast forward to the bits that I want. And Steve, Steve, Reem needs to come to pay my boss a visit. Yes, I know exactly what you mean, Steve. And she's available for all those dick punches. Well, in your case, a you-know-what, a hoo-ha. Anyway, this is going out to you, Steve. Thank you so much. <laughs> I've been streaming the whole morning, Matt. I'll get to it, though, my brother. I'll get to it. I can't read emails while I'm live. That'd be rude. Can we get can we get something from this? Oh, 
Oh, very nice, Timmy. That'd be cool to have in the house. Again, there's so much stuff I want, but I'm really trying to, like, limit things now to what I need. Otherwise, I'll be freaking broke forever. <laughs> the amount of money I spent in video games this month for the channel is ridiculous. But at least I've had a lot of new content, so, I mean, it was worth it. And by bitch, you mean, well, I mean, it is what it is, huh? I, I wouldn't turn her down. I would not turn her down. She'd be like, okay, I'm not going to go there. I've still got my family watching. <laughs> man, I love Kana Chan's YouTube channel, man. She just does some of the most random stuff. It just makes me smile. She doesn't take herself too seriously. I watched Kana Chan spend 10 minutes the other night just make noodles in a new noodle maker. Like, people actually watch that stuff. <laughs> Thank you, Bill. Appreciate it, man. on the right way still. Do you remember this level, Bill? Wait, this was from Mario Brothers 3 as well, from like World 5 or something, wasn't it? Wasn't this like World 5 or 6 in Mario 3? Or am I getting confused? You're flossing off streaming, I'm sure? You think that's what it is? Oh, damn, this is from Super Mario Land now. Oh, let's see how far we can go in this bad boy. I'm gonna move as quick as we can, guys. Whoa, that's... There we go, we made it just. Wow, that was close. Will I ever make some video game... Did I ever play make some video game remixes while I was DJing? I used to play some uh, video game remixes, but... Uh, you know, a lot of the people in the club were too cool for school for that type of stuff. As I said, I, I do miss DJing almost on a daily basis. I do not miss the industry, though, for a second. I'm so happy to be out of it. So, you know, the, you know, there's going to be part of me uh, that maybe want to come out and do a gig from time to time. But the world's moved on from me DJing already. I don't think anyone will ever ask me back for a gig. So, uh, you know, I've kind of moved on now and on to other phases of my life. I think, I think I'm a much better streamer than I was DJ anyway. <laughs> oh crap. That noodle video, well it was a noodle video, I'll give you that, yeah. She, she got this new instant noodle maker and it actually looks pretty good, I want to get one now. What else is going on, guys? Any other news you got for me today? Thank you again for hanging out with me for the day, and uh, our brother D Wayne's on a much uh, deserved uh, day off, guys. So I hope I'm a worthy replacement for him. And uh, as I said, don't go too far, guys, because this will be done soon, and then we're going to have our bonus game, which will go for about an hour, hour and a half, actually. We going the right way here? Yes, we are. Was there any DJs you were most happy to meet? Your brother? Ah, oh. no, I met a lot of famous people. I met famous DJs, and I made I uh, met a lot of famous rappers. So I have met some celebrities in my time. Um, I'm just trying to think of what what memorable ones there were. Sean Paul, I mean, Sean Paul, I didn't have a conversation with him, but he was next to me while I was DJing. And, uh, Sean Paul seemed to be a pretty stand-up stand dude. He seemed to just want to have a good time and be friendly with everyone, so... Sean Paul seemed to be one of the nicer guys. And, uh, Lil Bow Wow came in, he kept his nose clean. The only celebrity I didn't like working with was Sierra. I thought she was a bitch, but, you know, it is what it is. 
Only celebrity. You know, Sierra was one of those girls that still thought she was 2005 famous when uh, she came and did a set with us in 2015, you know what I mean? So, <laughs> it was just that kind of situation. I've not met Will Smith. I already did burger- no, it's not burger time. I already did burger time in the VIP stream. Don't worry, guys. If for whatever reason, Timmy, one coin only ever blows up one day, I will find a way where I can still talk to you guys. You know, I don't I don't want anything to change. I don't want anything to change here, you know, especially for the people that have been here since the beginning. So I will work something out, my brother. I've got to find where this pipe is. Maybe it's up in here. How are you going, Timmy? It's good to see you. Thank you for coming in. Bianca says, is one coin only my creation or D-Wayne's? Uh, you know what? One coin only is 100% my creation, but there is no one coin only without D-Wayne as well. So he's every much just as important as anything else here, you know what I mean? Am I looking for other people to join the one coin only team? The answer that I've been giving lately is yes. We're always looking for new people because we want to build up a big gigantic team. I just can't afford to hire anybody else right now. And every time I say that, people are like, but Rick, we'd work for free. And I, I'm like, I'm, I'm not a believer in having people do free work. So uh, well, once we've got a bit more money coming in, hopefully with a big gigantic sponsor, uh, I want to hire a couple more streamers and I want to also hire uh, an editor as well. So I can just make heaps and heaps of content and not worry about cutting it up myself. So... Yeah, I want two more streamers and an editor in the short term. How you going, Amanda? Good to see you. Thank you for coming in. So, D-Wayne joined us a year and a half ago. So, uh, D-Wayne uh, uh, joined us about just uh, under a year after we started. But it seems like he's been here every day. D and Matt says he likes the, the, the headlock game. It's really good, isn't it? Thank you, Justin. I appreciate that, sir. Not not bad multitasking skills. I, skills. I finally got my eye in again. Where are we going to go? Jumpy, jumpy up. Heary, heary. Oh, there we are. And then B Beyond says, You'll be my editor. You want payments and ice cream? As I said, I will be hunting a video editor. Uh, my goal is to have an editor in six months and like someone on full time so I can just pop out YouTube content and just have them chop it up for me. So, uh, yeah. Adam says, what am I looking for in streamers? Uh, streamers that play a variety, uh, uh for the, the top three things, uh, streamers that play a variety of games that are engaging and friendly with the audience and don't take themselves too seriously. Oh, damn it. Mother bitch, damn it. Now we have to do that again. <laughs> and how, how's the weather in Australia? Did I hear about the earthquake in the Philippines today? No, I didn't. Did it happen today, did it? I, I've been, uh... Forgive me, guys. I know Philippines always having crazy things happen over there with Mother Nature, but... I've been working ever since I woke up, so I haven't watched the news yet. Sometimes, to be honest, when it comes to the news, ignorance is bliss, because there's so much fucking horrible stuff happening in the world right now. Steve, Merry Christmas to you as well. Steve with 100 stars. Thank you so much, man. Going out to you, brother. Dave, you have a wonderful night, sir. We can, we can do more sports streams eventually going forward, Matt, hopefully. Uh, I'm, I don't have the passion for sports games, but maybe we'll find someone. Well, let me just reload here. Oh, Bian, don't be like that. How you going? We got Keith in the building. Good to see you, Keith. Damn it, I'm trying to multitask here and everything keeps hit killing me. Hang on. Just friendly people that play lots of games. Exactly, we're not... You've probably already seen... Like, how much negative bullshit, unfortunately, happens in the stream community. And, you know, we just want to set the example, that's all. We just want to set a good example for everyone. As I said, I know I'm not perfect. I know sometimes, like, I'm not the most emotionally mature person in the world. But I use that to my advantage just to make people smile. 
Apart from that, I've never done anything to hurt anyone. I just want people to have a good time, enjoy their streams. And, uh, you know, as I said, there's enough shit going on in the world. I want, I want to be part of the solution, not the problem. I love food too, bro. It's, I'm, I'm very fortunate I've got a... Got a fast metabolism. My arteries probably aren't thanking me, though. Oh, thank you, Bianca. You'll have to send me uh, a message sometime. We can have a chat or something. I appreciate the thought. Thank you, Jason. Much appreciated, man. I think it will be a Merry Christmas and a Happy Birthday, sir. That that much I do, Bill. That much I do. And you can keep it real while still, while still respecting people, right? Hey, go on there, Jimmy. Good to see you. It's it's been taking its toll on me lately, Timmy. You know, now that we're, you know, as I said, one coin coin only is in a blessed position where in the next couple months we're gonna be fifty thousand followers. That's a lot of freaking people, and uh, you know, it's one of the things I've, I'm finding now that we're getting bigger is that uh, people that used to support us just want to like see you fall. Unfortunately, that's just human nature. And just one of those unfortunate things about being in the public eye, but uh, it's certainly a challenge that never you never get used to. Although I have to say, I've got a lot thicker skin than I used to two and a half years ago. Some of the stuff I put up with now would have broken me two and a half years ago, so... And, uh, Jimmy, thank you! Jimmy with 200... Thank you, sweetheart. That's the nicest thing a woman said to me in a long time. I love you. You're amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Jimmy Jimmy with 200 stars. Oh, thank you, brother. Oh, life is not that bad. I've got my health. Got a roof over my head. I've got an awesome community here, Jimmy. I really don't have a, a right to complain. Um, this one's going out to you. Thank you very much for the 200 stars, sir. Yeah, I ho ho hopefully within... I think, I think we're going to have to uh, wait until we're in the six-digit range. But I think once we get up to, like, uh, maybe six digits in regards to how many followers we have, I think some people will pay attention. I I'm very, very patient. It's a marathon, not a sprint. We're in this for the long haul. And in the meantime, I can put a roof over my head. That's all I need to do. No, that's okay. See, I've got some video game development experience too, Josh. And I know how much time that takes, so I totally understand. Jimmy says he's a fat, hairy man. Bro, some ladies like cuddly teddy bears, man. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> and Bjorn says I can use his belly as a trampoline in this game. Well, there you go. You might look in... Damn, this level's really fucking hard. Not only is it an anti-grav level, but it's one of those... Oh, we did it again! Just like Britney Spears is always doing shit. Oh my gosh, hang on one sec. Let me just try this one more time. I can call, we can call ourselves the Fact Brothers? Well, there you are. That's what's up. Man, this is really, really, really hard. You want to see me driving a Tesla and getting custom grills off stream money? Oh, I'm not one that wants to flex the money. As I said, as long as I can... All I want from life is to be able to do... The only, my only vice is I like to travel. I like to go overseas. And I like to get out of this chair sometimes and do new things. Apart from that, I don't need fancy things. I always say it. I'm, I'm a very simple guy. Not, not chasing riches. Though I tell you what, having freedom makes your life a hell of a lot easier. You know what, if I do get rich one day, I'll uh, get a Tesla and show it off on stream. We'll, we'll definitely have to get one of those Homer cars. Josh says, is this based on Mario Galaxy? That's a good question. So just one more time, what we're playing today is a game called Super Mario Mix. And essentially this is every single Mario game up until 2014 put in the Mario Brothers 3 engine. So that's what we're doing today. This is the last level, guys. Damn! Oh, no, we have to do this again. You fucking kidding me? <sighs> Son of a biscuit. Sorry, guys. This is where multitasking gets me in trouble. Hey, 
And Jimmy says, here's 69 stars for Steve Irwin, who's your personal hero and help you find love for wildlife. Oh, crikey, Jimmy. Well, I think you're going to like this star screen by Cracky. Oh, strike hit. Too close. Watch this. Oh, nearly picks me up. This guy hits so hard. Oh, he hits so hard and fast. And, uh... Thank you again, man. Appreciate those 69 stars. I'm sorry to hear about uh, what happened with you too, Amanda. As I said, I've got more to be happy with. It's just, uh... It's just... P people don't realize how hard it is to be in the entertainment industry. Like, you watch your favorite celebrity, for example. Like, look, look, okay, I'll use Brad Pitt as an example. You know, gets, like, most of Hollywood sought-after women, gets all the AAA roles, is very, very popular, looks amazing for someone in his 50s. And everyone would be like, oh, what's Brad Pitt got to complain about? He's, like, got, he's famous, he's got all the money, he doesn't know what real struggle is. Um, people don't know what being in the public eye does to you. It is really freaking tough. Even from a small scale like this. So we, we got to be kind to people. You don't know what they're going through until you walk a day in their shoes. And then Female Gamer says, What was up with the YouTube delay? I'm not sure. Usually if that happens, you just need to refresh. Thank you, Jimmy. Jimmy with another 135 stars. Thank you, man. Oh, uh, no. I, I, need, I need the psychologist. I'm no psychologist, Timmy, but thank you. <laughs> Please don't take mental advice from me. Oh my gosh, don't do that. Timmy, uh, Jimmy, thank you for another 131 stars. It's going out to you, brother. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, Bian wants to take me to a racing event, by the way. Thank you again, Jimmy, man. Much love to you, man. David says he likes a Southern Bell, huh? He liked the women's right. Lacey Evans is okay. There's certainly something about her. She's a, I feel like she's a little bit green. But I think if her time, I think she'll be alright. I think she'll be alright. She does have a look that can certainly work. Damn it. Alright, let's keep going back over here. Yeah, I hate these things. Oh, my pleasure, Jimmy. We're all in this together at the end of the day, huh? You can't wait to see Star Wars in the morning. I'm going to try and see that next week. I don't know, Dad. If you're still watching, have you seen Star Wars yet? Yeah, I mean, you know, like... You know, people are only going to be as loyal to you as what your content is. Like, you'll always have those hardcore people that will always follow you, but... Always having to stay relevant is a big pressure as well. You bring up a very big point. And, uh, I went from being, like, one of the world most, uh, well-known guys in my circle in Brisbane to no one giving a shit anymore when I was a DJ. That was pretty hard to handle, too. That took a lot of humility. So I've been there. You bet, yeah, man, that's a champion effort, Tim. You better... Red Mike says, Ricky, even with all your sarcasm, when it comes to riches, you always choose loyalty over royalty. I'm sure you would understand you don't need a mansion with 18 bathrooms and then forget where everything is. Well, exactly, man. That's the way I look at it, too. There we go. We got that, sumbish. <laughs> and then Captain BS says, keep it up. You're playing Wind Waker in the background. How are you finding it? Are you, 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 you doing all right in that game? Oh, Jimmy, I'm sorry you lost him, brother. Hashtag F cancer, hey? Screw that illness. I really hope we get a cure for that in our lifetime. Yeah, that's awesome to hear, Ben. At the end of the day, I mean, as long as you can have food in your belly and a roof over your head, you're better off doing something that you love earning minimum wage than being a soul-sucking job that earns double. That's what I truly, honestly believe. Matty, thank you, man. Matt says, what is the worst game that you've ever played on stream? Probably Beetlejuice on the NES. I think that is pants. Matt, thank you for the 50 stars. 
Really, really appreciate ya. And then Female Gamer Alex says you're playing uh, Streets of Rage 2 for the first time. You're trying to beat it. I hope you beat that game like the little bitch that it is. <laughs> I think there's just a switch over here we need to grab. And then we got to go all the way backwards. Oh, thank you, brother. I'm just trying to do what's right. I've made lots of... Thank you, D-Sean. I'm just trying to do what's right now, you know what I mean? Let's just say I'm trying to make up for a lot of mistakes in my 20s. <laughs> I, did, I didn't I did like Alf, but Alf was a good laugh, at least. There was nothing funny about Beetlejuice. There, there was nothing funny about Beetlejuice, but Alf, at the very least, was a good laugh. And Jimmy again with the stars. Jimmy, here's 100 stars for being you. Thank Jimmy, you don't need to keep sending stars, bro. That's absolutely amazing of you, though. I was all like, Emilio! Here's one of our new ones, brother. I was like, Emilio! Emilio! The club is closed. <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. Would I stream uh, a game I know blindfolded? I've always been really, really fascinated by those uh, people who play Punch-Out! Blindfolded. There's a big documentary actually on YouTube about a community of people who play uh, Punch-Out! Blindfolded. That is certainly something I could see myself possibly sinking my teeth into. So yeah, so we're gonna go find this thing now. Hopefully the, the next pipe is over here. Cat, yeah, it's a shame the Captain Planet game wasn't much stick as well, was it? And all right, I think I think this pipe. I think this is gonna take us to. Oh crap! Yeah, oh thank you, Jimmy, and Curtis with 50 stars as well. Um, well, it's my pleasure, Jimmy, man. I mean, yeah, oh, I'm not gonna say anything else, man. I'm just very grateful for you. This is going out to you guys, Curtis, Jimmy. Let me give two screens here. There you go, that one's for Curtis. <laughs> hey, we got Veronica. I haven't seen you in the last couple days, Veronica. What have you been up to? Give them more Maud? Nah, Curtis likes Tia Carrera, and quite frankly, I like Tia Carrera too. Hey, we got, we got, uh, we got Casual Coin here. Good to see you, Casual Coin. 8-Bit Steve just interviewed with one of the famous guys that beat Punch-Out Blindfolded. I think I know the guy you're talking about because I watched the documentary. That's pretty cool. That is really, really cool. That's, that's amazing to have that kind of skill, huh? Keep the change, you filthy animal. That, that was from the first one, wasn't it? I hope we're going the right way here now. Man, this is... Okay, so there's that. Ho hopefully the next pipe's over here. Yeah. Oh no, we gotta go back down. No, this is it. We're going the right way now. Well, that's it. We made it. I'm thinking the next pipe's gonna be this direction. Oh crap! Get out of there, Rick. Oh damn you, sumbish. Thank you, Jimmy. You know, sometimes Jimmy, the encouragement's all someone needs to keep going. And uh, man, it, I really appreciate that. Oh, damn, I just all these constant deaths, man. I, oh, again, I'm rushing too much. Again, you got to slow down, Rick. That's when you make mistakes. Too many freaking mistakes, bro. Stop playing like a noob. Just because just you've got a channel, Rick, doesn't mean you can play like a noob. Female gaming is start, stuck in area 5 and 6. That's when the game starts to get hard. The first 4, not so bad. Well, 4, it actually starts to get a bit tricky. Oh, here we, oh, crap. Here we go, guys. Final boss. And then we're going to go on to our bonus game. We don't have much time here. we got to get moving with this bad boy. All right. Oh, damn. All right. Come on, one coin. That's the first one. There we go. We're going to have time here, everybody. One, two, three... There we go, there's that. 
Save one more over here. One, two, three. Oh damn, we didn't we didn't get it in time. That's a bummer. That's it, is that it? I think we got him. I think that's the whole game. Matt says the favorite part of Home Alone was rocking around the Christmas tree. Oh, that bit where he pretended everyone was home. That was pretty cool. Oh my gosh, that is done. Thank you so much, guys. And we got that done in just under four hours between both streams. So that's pretty cool. That's part one of this stream, guys. Let me just have some water and we're going to do our bonus game. Fema Gamer says, Rick, what's your favorite area? Yours is a tie between two and three. Ah, uh, What is my favorite area in Streets of Rage? I like the music in level seven. Thank you, guys. Jimmy with the 69 stars and Timmy with 100 stars as well. Thank you again, fellas. This is going out to you. <laughs> Jimmy says, I'm, I'm not your dad. What are you talking about? <laughs> you... Oh, and Jared with another 500 stars. Thank you, Jared. Jared, you've been dropping it like it's hot the last couple days, my sir. Thank you, man. My heart's on fire with that 500 stars. It was a bit corny, wasn't it? Thank you again so much, everyone, for those stars. Oh, my gosh. It's a very Merry Christmas. Thanks to you all. Um, all right. So, I'm just going to... What I'm going to do... Enjoy the credits. I'm just going to have a quick bathroom break. Uh, so I'm not going anywhere actually, I'm just going to pee, and then I'll get the next game on. I just heard the star bell go off. I'm sorry, guys. I think I just missed something. And yes, I did wash my hands. And uh, another 131 stars for Jimmy's dad. Absolutely, brother. <laughs> Thank you, man. This is going out to you, Jimmy. All right, I'm going to load up the next game while this star screen is going. All right, give me a second. I'm just going to change over in one minute here. Thank you again, bro, Seth. And uh, hopefully this will work straight away. So far, so good. Yep. Oh, this is Mario Brothers crossover. You've seen me do this on the channel a couple times, but we're going to be doing this today with uh, Super Mario Brothers 3 graphics. Uh, we're just going to play on the easy mode. We don't... No, actually, you know what? We're going to run through this pretty easy today. We're going to have this uh, all characters, all characters. And uh, what are we going to do? Nintendo, Super NES game? No, Nintendo. Oh, there we go. We got this. All right. We're going to start with Mega Man on this bad boy today. Rainy, rack racks for Ricky. Thank you, Amanda. I like a good rack. Oh, there you go. Not all of us are gross, thank you very much, Veronica. I can be gross sometimes, but sometimes I'm alright. This is Super Mario Brothers crossover. I don't know. This is like, uh... Yeah, a mixture of, uh... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty gross, William. So we're going to play through this as... See, some of these levels do get pretty hard, so... I'm starting to get a bit of a headache from the screen, actually. Well, as I said, I'll have a quick hour break after this, and... What do I... Yeah, yeah, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to play as all characters in this one. And then Matt says the elevator theme in the first Streets of Rage is your favourite music. Gotcha. That is a pretty good one, too. And then Jimmy says 100 stars for the first death. I don't want to die on purpose. I've already got a member of the community that asked me to do that every single freaking day. Alright, we got it. Oh, goodness. <sighs> what was I going to say? There was something I wanted to say to you guys before I came back and I completely forgot. You unlocked the infinite time cheat. Well, that's alright. 
Let's use Simon Belmont this time. So I love this. This is Mario crossover. There's a few little frame skips in this program. It's not perfect, but hopefully still enjoyable enough to watch. You want me to die on purpose? Oh, come on! <laughs> Adam says, I'll give you 50 stars if you eat a snack. I do have a snack next to me. But I don't want to be... I don't want to eat in stream. Like, if, unless I'm doing a marathon, I don't I don't want to eat on stream. Because, you know, I've got to... I've got to host. I've got to be a good boy, you know? I've got a chocolate bar here ready for me once I'm finished. Actually, I'm going to make some silver side sandwiches as well. I got some silver side from, uh... How do I get in there? Oh, wait. Can I whip these bricks? Oh, that's how you do it. All right. Thank you again, Jimmy. Jimmy's dropped something like 50 million stars today already. Thank you again, brother. What can, what can, we, what can, what can we give to... Um, what's the pause button on this controller? I don't know what the pause button on this controller is, but I suppose it doesn't matter. Uh, this one's going out to you, sir. There we go. Now I'll have to I'll have to do the star screens at select times because some reason I can't get the. Oh no, that's the pause button. Okay, you have to press escape. All right, I figured out the pause button at least. You just get nervous pressing the escape button. You know what I mean? <laughs> and Amanda says your favorite Twitch streamers. Eat. And there's nothing wrong with that. Like I'm not having a stab at anyone that does eat on stream. That's not what I meant. I just personally want to try not get into the habit of doing that too much. You guys are here to watch me play video games, not see me eat or what or check my phone. Oh my gosh. So so what happened in your case, Tam? Someone broke your heart, huh? It's all right, Tam. We'll go break his legs. <laughs> Hey, I'd love to have 8-bit, uh... Actually, there's a really good website on YouTube. I've forgotten the name of it, but I'll get it for you guys after. That does 8-bit remixes of all your favourite movies, like Scarface, Terminator, Predator. And you can watch your favourite, and Forrest Gump even. You can watch all your favourite games in, like, 8-bit. And I'm like, that is really, really cool. So I'll have to get you guys a link. I'm gonna try and beat every level in this sunbish. If this starts to drag on a bit, maybe once we get to level four, we can warp to eight. We might just do that. This is a bonus game after. Oh, we're gonna use Ninja Gaiden this time. Oh yeah, I just unless I'm doing a marathon, like I, I don't feel bad when I eat if I'm doing a marathon on stream. But apart from that, I try to do it offline. That's all. I'm not having to serve at anyone. I think I don't. I don't want you guys to misunderstand me. Or take me out of context on it. Jimmy says stop doing too much. I'm not doing too much. Hey, we got Clarissa. We got games by gamers in the house. Good to see you. Yeah, you know, women, you can't live with them. You can't live without them. I know. I mean, I don't have my... I mean, you know what I think about the opposite sex right now too, Tam. <laughs> but damn you, if I had biddies in front of my face, that'd be a different matter. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we, we, we all just don't understand each other too well, do we? Alright, let's try this again. I just died. That sucks. And Female Gamer says Ninja Gaiden looks uh, pretty fun. Yeah, he's alright. You know, obviously, each, each character has, like, strengths and weaknesses depending on the level. Why do you call them biddies? Because I just want to... I don't want to get in trouble off Facebook if I use rude words, I guess. <laughs> Matt says, Ricky, it's funny how on Snapchat map people have their eyes jamming to music. I haven't been on the Snapchat map, actually, to be honest. I used to use Snapchat when it first came out, but then I got sick of it, and I just use uh, Instagram and Facebook. Uh, I know a lot of people are using TikTok these days as well. That's okay, Jimmy. I'll, I'll be eating in 30 minutes, so don't you worry. I'll be making some delicious silver side sandwiches. Just look at that as an incentive. Uh, I think it actually came from the UK. 
Um, but I'm not sure. I, I, I mean, there's like 50 different words you can say for breasts. <laughs> it's like, there's no shortage of them. Cupcakes, melons, muffins, coconuts, all that kind of stuff. There's so many different words for them. Take your pick. <laughs> I kind of like Contrabill, actually. We haven't used Link yet, surprisingly. Hopefully we'll do all right against Bowser over Mnar. Chest puppies, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll use Samus and we'll use Link as well. Again, uh, Bill in this game is OP, obviously, when he has a shoddy weapon. There we go, we got that, sumbish. Yeah, and like what Jason said, too. So Veronica wants to start using biddies as well. <laughs> Sweater cows. Oh my gosh, that's a. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, well, speak of the devil, let's use Samus this time, huh? Dad, Dad just called him chest puppies. There you go. <laughs> I think I repeated that already. It's like deja vu. Oh, damn. Samus just got smoked. Oh, let's try again. Uh, so yeah, as I said, for the late night stream, guys, we are coming on and we're gonna do, uh... We're gonna do some truck simulator. I'm just gonna have some lunch, relax for a half an hour, watch some YouTube videos. My favorite thing to do, uh, in my own time is to watch a YouTube video here and there. Just because, um, I can do that while I'm still sitting at my desk. So I'm gonna watch some YouTube, have some lunch, and then I'll come back on with a... We'll probably go across the uh, the California coastline today. We've already done the Utah expansion a couple times. Kyle says you're about to stream this as well. Very nice, sir. So where can you get this from? You can go on... It's a little bit tricky to find. But if you jump on Google and you type in uh, uh, Super Mario Crossover Download, you should be able to find it. Yeah, every, everything has is, is been okay. I turned the air conditioning down a little bit and I try to turn the computer off a lot more when I'm not using it. And I think I'll survive till January, February when I buy a new one. Absolutely, Jimmy. Jimmy with another 50 stars. Thank you so much, bud. This one's going out to you, Jimmy. Here's a little, little tribute to Roxette again. And Matt says, what do I watch on YouTube? I watch a number of things. I watch a lot of self-help videos on YouTube. Uh, and I also watch a lot of wrestling news stories. They're probably the two things I watch the most. Sometimes I watch the David Attenborough stuff. Like, you know, bugs versus bugs or crazy things like that. But just interesting things. Thank you again, Jimmy, for all those lovely stars you sent today. Veronica says she loves Roxette. Roxette reminds me of growing up with Mum, because she used to play every Roxette song in the car. You watch the dude do all of Death Stranding. I think Death Stranding is kind of fun to play by yourself. Kind of like, it kind of feels like No Man's Sky to me. Like Death Stranding, when you just want to like relax and zone out and enjoy like some scenery. Death Stranding is good for that. So it's more a relaxing experience for me, but uh, yeah, I think it's more fun to play than it is to watch, personally. Yeah, I don't think Link's going to really work in here. Let's use Contra Bill again. I agree, I'm, I'm very, very much against bullying, Jimmy, and I call that out. If, if I see someone I know on the internet getting... Well, if I see anyone on the internet getting bullied, I like to pick my battles. I don't like to start trouble, but if I see someone getting picked on... Uh, I want to stick up for him. Like, that's bullshit. Timmy, thank you, man. Timmy with 100 stars. You want Mord again. Man, you certainly love B. Arthur, don't you, sir? <laughs> and then there's Mord. Then there's Mord. And then there's Mord. And then there's Mord. Nah, I probably won't get back to you until... I'm so busy today, Matt, so I'm probably not going to get back to you until tomorrow morning. Just being straight up with you, bro. I've just got so much to do, you know? Dude, I just need to decompress when I'm not on camera, brother. And Jerry says, am I ever going to finish the Terminator? I'm actually going to start it again, Jerry. And I'm going to try and finish it in one sitting. Because I want to kind of have a one sitting video for it. So, uh, yeah, I'm just trying to pick a perfect day for it. But we will do Terminator again. Fuck. 
Alright, hang on. This is really starting to piss me off. Alright, let's try Samus this time. And Jimmy with another 100 stars. Jimmy, thank you again. So I'm running out of screens here, brother. This is going out to you. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Guys, it's not too late for us. We can do this. It's not too... Speaking of not too late, it's not too late to give us a like on the video too, guys. If you've been enjoying what you've seen today, please give us a thumbs up. We really appreciate that. Yeah, I know. I, I just want to find a time where I can do it in one sitting. So yeah, we're going to do it. I'm going to play on the really easy difficulty so we don't get stuck. Hey, Games by Gamers with 100 stars as well. Thank you so much, Clarissa. Guys, as you all know, Clarissa here is a loyal follower. Uh, as well as she also has her own page called Games by Gamers. And you can also stream see her streaming on another awesome site called The Global Stream Machine. So uh, a massive shout out going out to Clarissa. What can we give to you today? I don't know. We're going to... Hmm. I'm going to do this one for you, Clarissa. <laughs> Digitally put Jabba the Hutt back into the original Star Wars movie. I'll do what I want. I'll do what I want. Out. Thank you again, Clarissa. And all right, there we go. So as I said, when we get to level four, guys, I am going to walk to level eight. And we're just going to get this sumbish done. Otherwise, we'll be here all day. And we do need to come on with the trucks before it gets too late. There is trucks uh, cheats with this game. I've never used any of them before, though. Russell Crowe. I'll do Russell Crowe next now that my niece and nephews are not watching. I'll do Russell Crowe in the next one. If you're still here, Timmy, I owe you a rain check. Alright, let's, uh, alright, we're gonna try Link again. What is the best star screen? I think the most popular star screen we've ever had of all time is Maud. Uh, the second most favourite star screen here is probably the original Emilio screen. So, uh, they're probably the two best star screens I've ever had. Yeah. I, th I think it's probably those two. This is a hard level, this one, man. And, and, uh, Matt says, you wonder what Samus looks like without a helmet. Uh, it's been seen quite a bit. You should Google it, Matt, and you can find out for yourself. With some things, Timmy, not often. <laughs> this is really, really hard with Blink. I think this is going to be another one for Contra Bill, actually. Come on, Link, you can get out of here. Yeah, Mord has definitely been the most favourite for the last, what, six months already? When, when did we do Mord? I think we did Mord in, what, June? Yeah, Mord's definitely been the favourite. Oh, gosh. Almost out of here, guys. Oh my gosh, this is freaking tough, huh? Way to go, Link. You can do it. We made it, guys. Oh, boy. 100 stars to say Anakin. Anakin! You were the chosen one! I can't do you and McGregor. Anakin! You were the chosen one! I trusted you! Okay, there you go. I can't do it. <laughs> Jimmy with 100 stars. We do have some Star Wars screens, but they're not in the rotation at the moment, but we'll bring them back soon. This is the closest I've got, Jimmy. Uh, Super Sign, this is Super Mario Crossover 2. Uh, Super Mario Crossover 3 and 4, you can only play on a Flash browser, and they've got too many bugs, even though they were much better. <laughs> Thank you again, Jimmy. There you go. I'm my like little trained puppet now, doing impersonations. <laughs> Timmy with 100 stars. Good to see you back, Timmy. How goes your uh, day? I'm wondering where you've been, man. I'm guessing you've been busy with the family. And uh, what can we give to Jim? Uh, t what are we going to... I haven't done this one yet today, actually. Thank you again, brother. No worries, Jimmy. Jimmy with 100 stars as well. Timmy and Jimmy. <laughs> Thank you, fellas. I do like to do uh, sitcom themes as a star screen, too. They're just a lot of fun. And there's nothing more nostalgic than a, a good sitcom theme. You know, I was tempted to do, like, growing pains and, and family ties and stuff. I nearly did a Webster screen 
but I couldn't find one that I liked, but I was going to do a Webster one as well. You think you might have gotten one of those retro preloaded handhelds for Christmas? Last year, Dad got me one of those little ones. My dad what got me one of those uh, retro handhelds that had the freemium games, not the pirated ones. But some of them were surprisingly fun, actually. There's some talented uh, developers out there that have still not been discovered. Matt says Hulk Hogan should have never gone to WCW. Why not, Matt? Why not? Let's use Mega Man this time. That's right, keep reminding me, Veronica, because I always forget. <laughs> I, I, I can sort of do Cartman. I can sort of do Tally. I feel like Mr. Mackey's probably the easiest one to do. Okay. <laughs> okay. You should do uh, a Captain Planet screen when you can. Ah, uh, yeah. I, I think a couple of our other streamers have already got one. But yeah, I'll make one as well. That's an idea. Again, Timmy, all you need to do is remind me. And another 50 stars from Tim, man. These are all adding up today, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you again, Timmy. And uh, guys, as I said, any star donation, big or small, adds up. And I'm really grateful. You've been so amazing. And uh, guys, don't forget, if you want to support the page further and also get the VIP treatment, we've got uh, a supporter program here where you can sponsor us. Uh, but in return, you get all sorts of awesome perks for your trouble. And uh, you can click on the green shield to find out more. No obligation, of course, but you get, like, uh, VIP streams... And you get requests on our request show. And you get prize giveaways every month and much more. I would like to do the episode with the HLA, but I get flags on Facebook, Veronica. <laughs> if you don't know what HLA means, never mind. I'm sure someone here will let you know. <laughs> I liked when Frankie Doyle was going out with that really cute chick. So let's just leave it at that, Veronica. And Curtis says, last year's stars, you Oh, Curtis, man, I just appreciate you, as I said, for being in here. Much love to you, brother. This one's going out to you, Curtis. And we just got a chime as well, guys. Let me just double check that. Thank you again, good sir. And what, what chime did we get? Um, oh, Jimmy has just become a supporter. Everyone give a big standing ovation for our new supporter, Jimmy, man. Make sure you take advantage of all the perks, brother, okay? We're so grateful for you, dude. What can we give to Jimmy? There you go. He's coming in like a superhero, this guy. As I said, guys, if you have any suggestions for star screen, send them to my inbox because I'm not going to remember them when I'm live on stream. So, any ideas need to be sent to the inbox, otherwise it'll be in one ear and out the other. Thank you so much, Jimmy. Much appreciated, bro. Make sure you take advantage, alright? Hey, congratulations, brother. Welcome to the sub club. Oh, no, I keep forgetting the Russell Crowe screen. Okay, the Russell Crowe screen is going to be our next one, I promise. Sorry, guys, my head's all over the place trying to keep up. See, excuses, excuses, excuses. I forgot, you can't jump on them. I keep jumping on the turtles, thinking that they're like, uh, like I'm Mario, but it doesn't work that way. Jimmy, that's not going to change, my brother, I promise. This is going out to you, sir. No, I'm talking about the Asian chick, of course, Veronica. You know my taste. <laughs> you know my taste already. I think that the, 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 the psych doctor used to be really, really hot back in the day, too, actually. I think she used to be on Neighbours back in the day. I think I think I remember seeing her on Neighbours when she was young, if I'm not mistaken, if, if you ever watched Neighbours. Come on, Tugger! Gotta sing a song, Tugger! <laughs> Matt says, how come streamers don't answer the inbox sometimes? Ah, uh, I don't think you understand how overwhelming it is sometimes, Matt. When you've been on stream for six to eight hours a day, and then you're bombarded with like a hundred messages in your inbox. Like, sometimes you just need 
to be selective with what you write back to. It's not because streamers are snobs. Again, as, as I said, it's just one of the things about being in the public eye that people don't understand. You know what I mean? Hey, hey, God, now. Good to see you. Kamusta. And, uh... Hey, what else have we got? Gosh, we're getting stars coming in like a freaking, uh, Haley's Comet. Jimmy, once again with 150. Thank you so much. This is for you, good sir. She was in All Saints as well, was she? Wait, Wentworth's touring the United States? Are they really? Well, some bish. Okay, we're going to go back to the main screen. Thank you again, brother. <laughs> I'm glad you approve. Uh, Matthew, this game is Super Mario Brothers crossover. And, uh, it, you know, uh, the, the newer versions of this are much better. But they don't work downloaded, unfortunately. You can only play them on Flash. And they have a lot of slowdown issues. But this is Super Mario Brothers crossover 2. I think there's five different editions of this game which add more levels, characters, themes, music, and all sorts of stuff. But this is still pretty good. Snobby streamers in their tent. Oh, come on, Adam. Rick is getting his presents early. Yeah, see, because I've got... I, I, I have my birthday the same time as Christmas. So rather than a bunch of little presents, I get like one big present. <laughs> You should do a D Wayne star screen idea, a star screen of me choosing a star screen. I love, I love it when he says that stuff. Hey, <laughs> I, I absolutely love it when he cracks those kind of dad jokes. They're epic. <laughs> Don't forget, guys. As I said, I've been doing the compilation packages of my funny moments lately, but I want to do them for D Wayne too, guys. So um, whenever you see D Wayne say like a, a dad joke. Or when he does one of his like philosophical sort of outlooks on life, make sure you uh, do a clip on D Wayne stream so I can do a feature video for him too. Yeah, I wouldn't mind owning that new Tesla. <laughs> That'd be interesting. Man, I tell you what, those Tesla shares this year, Timmy, have absolutely skyrocketed, haven't they? It's been ridiculous. Kind of wish I invested in that company, Jesus. <laughs> and never mind, you're just playing some Super Mario 63? I don't remember Super Mario... Oh, Super Mario 64, you mean. And now it says you like to play with Simon Belmont and Mega Man in this game. Nani! There you go, Jimmy. <laughs> Thank you, another 150 stars. Bro, you're hijacking the stream right now. You're totally hijacking the stream. Jimmy's like now like the max headroom of one coin only. He's taken over the airwaves. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, let's use Bass. We haven't used Bass yet. Let's try him out. Yay! Everyone tells me to do the Ric Flair screen. As I said, D Wayne's already got the Ric Flair, but I can do one too. It's no big deal. There you go. He can dash as well. Cool. The dashing's probably going to come in handy with this sumbish. Oh, so he can also double jump. Alright, that's also handy. Oh, 63 is a fan game. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. <coughs> so sorry. I usually swing trade when I occasionally trade Tim. And I just follow patterns, usually. And, uh... I try to stay away from the penny stocks, but I got really lucky on a penny stock uh, pretty recently. But I usually just, uh... You know, just wait for confirmation, and then, uh, you know. I, I like to take, I like to just do lots of little, uh, trades, and, like, accumulate, and, and take less risk. There we go, thank you, base, but our princess is in another castle. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna do a, a World 2 warp in this now, so that's what we're gonna do. Who can we use next? We need to use Link this time. You're gonna sleep? The stream is the only thing that calms you down? You have a nice sleep, Veronica. We'll see you again tomorrow, hopefully, huh? Thank you for coming by and hanging out with us. Oh, thank you, Jimmy. I appreciate it. As I said, like, I, I, think, I think we're such a good team because we both play, like, slightly different games to each other and I think we all have a massive amount of stuff to offer on the channel, so... I wouldn't be able to do this without him. I mean, I mean, I mean, 
but it'd be very difficult at least anyway. <laughs> very, very, very grateful to D Wayne. And uh, Steve says, you're off to bed. Have a good night. Steve, you have a wonderful night too. Thank you for the 100 stars. And uh, this one's going out to you before you go, brother. Jerry says, are we going to the last level? Yeah, we're going to warp to level... Uh, thank you again, Steve. Really appreciate you, man. We're, we're going to uh, warp straight to level 8 in the next area. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, we don't need to play every level. We're just going to try and beat it. There's no Ricky, only Zul. I actually do have that uh, star screen, but it's not uh, currently loaded up. I'll have to do it another time. Hey, we got Seth over on YouTube. Good to see you, Seth. Thank you for coming by, sir. Glad you could make it in. Whoa. As I said, I need someone very, very nice to come crack my back. It is really, really sore today. So what are we going to do here? Uh, are we probably going to use Samus for the jumping ability on this one? Matt says, how is Samus a girl? Well, because she's got tits and a vagina, Matt. And no, I love Zelda 2. If you go look back through all our old videos now, I hope we get your follow, by the way. But, uh... If you look back through all my old videos, not only do I play Zelda 2 now, but I play all the hacks as well. It's my favourite NES game. It's my absolute favourite NES game. So Jimmy says you're about to go to bed. Jimmy, thank you so much for becoming a supporter, my brother. Yeah, God bless uh, to you too, man. And if we don't see you beforehand, uh, which hopefully we do, but if we don't, I hope you have a, a wonderful Christmas, sir. You, let's get Ricky to try absinthe. I've had absinthe before, but I haven't had the legit absinthe. You know the, you know the one I'm talking about. Let's try this again. We've got to get this up. Hopefully this, this will work out. Okay, this works. Oh, Samus sounds like a guy's name. Okay, good point. <laughs> I was gonna be like because. Uh, I thought I was gonna have to explain the birds and the bees story to you for it. I'm just kidding, Matt. I'm being smart ass. Vanessa says you're ready for being. I've had way too much pizza lately, but I could totally go with pizza right now. As I said, I'm gonna make some silver side sandwiches after this. Do the Mario. I can't remember how to do the Mario, actually. It's been too long. Oh, here we go. We're in World 8. Let's just pull out Contra Bill one more time. Uh, actually, I'm putting up a big announcement. Our VIP stream is now moving. So we do Mario Kart every Saturday. It is now moving from 5 p.m. Eastern to 7 p.m. Eastern. And uh, the reason it's changing times is because now I have to stream all day by myself on Saturday as well. So we're still doing the Mario Kart stream. Um, for, instead of 5 p.m., it starts at 7 p.m. But... To make up for the inconvenience, we're going to be doing it for three hours instead of two as an incentive. So, um, yeah, that starts from this week. I don't remember how to do the Kirby dance, actually. What's this about Seamus, Dad? Are you talking about the wrestler? I didn't know you knew any pro wrestlers. Oh, let's try you Samus again. Oh, Drew, we, we were always hovering around the back together, my brother. <laughs> right, here we go. This is the last world, guys. No, that's okay. You weren't to know, Timmy, because that's only a new thing. Ah, Nyani, Kamusta. Good to see you again. Salamat, thank you for coming in. Plag, plag, share the stream, yo. We've got Ian Tao Gaming in the house. I, lo I love the Mario Kart stream. It's just chill, doesn't take itself... I hate how much I'm sucking lately at that game, though. I'm going to have to have a practice before I go to bed. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make sure I get some practice in before I sleep. We gotta, we gotta prepare here. Oh, I gotta work on my combinations, I think. I might start using my amiibos and uh, unlocking some shit too. I, I, I like, I look. My, people say, do pineapple go on pizza? I, I'm, I'm meeting you guys halfway on this one. I think Hawaiian pizza is absolutely awesome. But I could do without pineapple on any other pizza. But when it comes to Hawaiian pizza, I think Hawaiian pizza is a business. A really good Hawaiian pizza is freaking awesome. Oh, 
I hope so, Drew. Big thank you again for hanging out, bud. I love this wave beam. It's so handy. These jumps start to get a bit tricky, though, with the various characters. So far, so good. Oh, there you go. Now, now we've got the, the tricky jumps over here. Can Matt says, can I do the Kirby dance? When I've got time to learn the Kirby dance, I'm not going to rule it out. Capt oh, so you remember Captain N from back in the day as well. That's pretty cool. So, yeah. What do you guys think? Does Pineapple go on pizza, yes or no? I'm pretty sure Big Sean did a, a poll on that once upon a time, actually. The Super Samus... No, you're thinking of the Super Gianna Sisters. That was the Mario clone on the Commodore 64. Alright, there we go. We're going to go back over here. We got this, guys. And so there's Seth is like, No, Pete, Pineapple doesn't go on pizza. Whatever, shows what you know, bro. <laughs> Good night to you too, Ma Amanda. Sweet dreams. Thank you for hanging out with us today. I think Samus is probably my favourite character in this. Against my better judgement, we're going to try and do this one with Simo. There we go, we got like the boat level for Mario 3, that's pretty interesting, huh? Oh, you bastard, Simon! You have one fucking job! Alright, let's try and use Link. <laughs> let's see how this one goes. Simo had one job and he let the whole freaking team down. What's worse, Simo, is you let yourself down. Oh, damn. Okay, come on, Link, you can do better than that. Oh wait, we got the boomerang here as well. That's pretty sweet. Alright, cool. I forgot I forgot you can use Link's boomerang. This that's pretty neat. And so Gordon Ramsay also says Oh he did actually, I do remember Ah uh, fuck fuck any fuck fuck fuck! I do remember <laughs> And then Adam says you haven't eaten pizza since you went vegan. They have they have vegan friendly pizzas, don't they? Then we have to go back to Samus. Samus seems to be the best character in this, from what I can see. You can't go wrong with the wave beam, either. The wave beam is just, like, really handy. Come on, Samus, you can do it. And then Seth says, Hawaiian pizza has Canadian bacon on it, so it's really Canadian pizza, eh? What you talking about? <laughs> There you go, the F-bombs are totally cometh and out of. So just one, one more reminder, guys. After this, I'm having an hour break. And then we're jumping on with some uh, American Truck Simulator to end the day, guys. So if you want to have a, a hangout and a chit-chat, guys, we'll be back on. And then I'm going to practice Mario Kart for tomorrow so I don't totally suck. Matt says, is Aussie pizza good? Uh, if you stay away from Domino's and Pizza Hut, their their pizzas are passable. I mean, to be honest, Domino's is actually pretty good when you order the right pizza. Otherwise, some of them are bland. But if you want to get a real pizza, we do have some good small business uh, pizza places here, which are pretty nice. But uh, nothing beats a pizza I had when I was in Massachusetts. The Boston sourdough pizzas, man. You, you, I have to admit, you people in the United States certainly know how to make a pizza. <laughs> Definitely the best pizza I had was in the United States. And even the pizza I had in Connecticut was pretty good too. Hey, going, Brandon? It's good to see you. Thank you for coming by. And Tom says he really loves bacon on pizza himself. But yeah, Aussie pizza's alright. We, we know how to make pizza. You got, But if you're eating American pizza and you come over here, you probably won't dig it. All right. Oh my gosh, Drew. <laughs> I hear pizza is absolutely amazing in Chicago. One thing I did have was a Chicago dog. I went, I went to a, I went to a hot dog place while I was in Salem, and the hot dog dog guy there got actually ingredients imported from Chicago. So I actually had an authentic Chicago dog. And uh, it was pretty good. I did really enjoy the Chicago dog. Um, I haven't had a Chicago pizza yet, though. And I hear you guys in Chicago know how to make a pizza. 
He even tried a cheeseburger pizza. Yeah, the, the, the barbecue bacon cheeseburger pizza at Domino's over here is one of the half-decent pizzas I actually do. So, cheeseburger pizzas in my top three favorite. We do do New York sized style pizza here, but it is pretty expensive. I love street food, man. My most favorite thing to get uh, in Thailand actually is street food, like street barbecue. Oh my gosh. But you have to be careful uh, where you get it from, otherwise you'll be in the hospital for a week. You know, like salmonella is a real thing over there. There's no like food safety laws. <laughs> Alright guys, we just got one level left after this. We're almost done. We should totally try and finish the last level with Link. Alright. One more time, guys. If you haven't uh, liked the stream, that would be awesome. Big thank you to our new supporters in the house as well. Thank you to everyone who sent stars. You guys are amazeballs. If it wasn't for you guys, we couldn't do this full time. So thank you for believing in it enough that you would uh, support us with your hard-earned currency. You know, we're gonna uh, we're gonna go to Link now. So here we go. Let's see how we go with this bad boy. Almost done. I love them. I love the dungeon music here, huh? This is a nice touch. This is definitely what we need for a final level. It's like the the Ganon music from uh, Zelda One. Come on, Link, you can do it. I hear about this Papa John stuff. I have people in here tell me Papa John's is good, and then I have people tell me that it's overrated. So I don't know what to believe. But yeah, no, I, have, I haven't had Papa John's before. We don't have that over here. You stick with Papa John's and Pizza Hut. I remember back in the 80s, Pizza Hut was kind of like the, the gourmet kind of pizza. Because back in the 80s, Pizza Hut had all those like restaurants and everything. And Pizza Hut was the higher quality pizza in the 80s. But now Pizza Hut sucks. Over here, it's, it's just as bad, if not worse, than Domino's. Oh, we got this. Hey, you going, Sean? Good to see you, man. Oh, my, my pleasure, Sean. Now, I'm about to go offline, brother, but I am coming back on with Truck Simulator in an hour. Sorry to hear you had a tough day, man. Thank you for thinking of us, dude. Adam says he likes lemon juice on fries. I've done that a couple times. Because uh, when you get your fish and chips, it usually comes with a lemon and, and chips. So I have put lemon on fly fries before. I know what that tastes like. Drew thinks pub. I mean, I'm not surprised about that. Do we have Book It in Australia? No, we have uh, Menu Log and we have Uber Eats. I don't know. Is, is that what you mean? That kind of stuff? We, we have Menu Log and we have uh, Uber, Uber Eats. Oh, shit balls. Come on, Rick. Fuck. You can do this, Rick. Oh, fuckity fuck off. Oh, come on! Do we get a checkpoint here? I better get a checkpoint. Oh, bullshit. Now I'm gonna try- I'm gonna just do this with Samus. That is ridiculous. I'm really pissed off about that. Link fucked up. <laughs> oh my gosh. Right at the end. Are you serial? Come on, Samus. Get the job done. Yeah, it's funny how, like, roadside assistance people and ambulances and stuff are just there to help people and they cop all the attitude. Like, really? It's so wrong, brother. There you go. Sorry about all my swearing, but my niece and nephew are gone now. <laughs> you have to beat him now like he's Ridley. I know, right? <clears throat> oh, Booker was a program... Oh, I see. No, we didn't have that program, but we did have book progr programs in school. Gotcha. Oh, interesting. No, we... Wow. You know, the school always used to make us read multiple books a, a week, but we never got any presents for it. <laughs> Alright, we're almost done with this bad boy. Again, I didn't want to do level 5, 6, 7, 8. I was feeling a bit lazy today. Oh, 
I can't wait to have these silver side sandwiches. I'm really hungry now. This is gonna be the bomb diggity. Alright. Kevin says you like mustard on your fries? Well, that's not a bad idea. I've got some mustard in the cupboard. Yeah, I remember Rister on the Sega Genesis, right? I never I never really dived into it, but I have tried it before. It's on the classic collections. Alright, we can we can get this ish done. You ain't you ain't damn it, I took a hit already. Far out, really. To wait for this little blob to go up. Alright, come on, Rick, get her done. Get her done. Hey, look at that! Screw you, Bowser, you mother bish! Alright, it's all over. <coughs> Thank you, Samus. Your quest is over. Oh, there we go. That is it, my friends. That was our bonus game. Oh, what a day. Guys, thank you again to everyone who uh, watched us on Facebook and YouTube. Your company has been absolutely epic. <coughs> oh, we're just going to enjoy the ending music here. <laughs> and uh, don't go anywhere, guys, because as soon as this cutscene is finished, I am actually going to um, send you guys to another stream before we come back on. No kiss, I know. See, right? We're just a sucker. No, I told you, female gamer, I love Hawaiian pizza too. I think it's the one pizza pineapple should go on. Friend zoned, I know. <laughs> Alright, well you know what guys, the quicker I leave, the quicker I come back on. I'll be back on in about an hour. Uh, as I said, I'm going to finish the night with some American Truck Simulator. It's been a while, but guys, you've been amazing. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for opening your hearts to me while D-Wayne has uh, been gone too. That's also awesome. Um, yeah, I'll come back on in a little minute, so I'm going to find a, an uh, hour I should say, not a little minute, so I'm going to see if I can find a stream for y'all. Um, hey, we got Bry Guys on. Everyone say hello to Bry Guys. Let's give him a helping hand here. Let's see if we can boost up his numbers. Uh, but yeah, guys, until the next stream, we will see you again in about an hour. To everyone who's going to sleep, take care. Otherwise, everyone else will see you soon. Thanks again. Oh, one more time as well, guys, uh, before we do go. We do have uh, the online uh, shop. It's a 2.0 shop. We've put a ton of new shirts up. Check it out in your travel. Something for the ladies too. All right, that's it. Enough blabbing. We'll see you in an hour, guys. Bye.